Okay, guys, I wish you the very best. May the best man win. That will be the winner. Let's get ready to run the This win is the idea. One, two, one, two, can you hear me? Uh, guys, welcome to, welcome to Billiard Cafe. We've got here with us uh, uh, Caesar Chandiga all the way from uh, Uganda, up against uh, Aiden Joseph. It's a race to 21 match. Great match up here. This is the third one of the series. Okay, guys, a race for 21 matchup and um, the opening frame. Opening frame, so we're just going to be able to see uh, as to whether. We need to make space here. Okay, guys, uh, we come into your life from Billet Cafe. It's a race to 21 matchup. Cesar Shandiga playing red balls and uh, Aiden on yellow balls. Who's going to draw first, first blood? We're just about to see. I'm going to be joined here on commentary by Rick. Thanks very much, Prince. Yeah. It's going to be a bit of a difficult one to commentate. We've got a tough crowd to... Contend with, yeah. To contend with and to see through. Yeah. <laughs> Already a, a brilliant shot there by Caesar. Cracker shot there from Caesar. And hopefully uh, first of many for the evening. No, most definitely, uh, Ricky. You know, we've got to say thank you to Q, Q Pixels. You know, Francis Salim, we're live on your stream here, coming to you from Billiard Cafe in South Africa. Uh, oh, you're asking if we got backup. Here's our backup right here. Yeah, yeah, two pixels, yeah. Thanks, pixels, yeah. And we've got uh, Peter Kjobie in the house as well. Great job Ryan there from Caesar. As well is in the house. Lock in the pockets. Nice, you can really see the yellow, but he's well. come out of it nicely, and the yellow's landed in the pocket. Aiden already in a bit of trouble. In the first frame, yeah. Should be Caesar's frame. From what I've seen, Ricky, uh, in the last couple of days, uh, um, Caesar has adapted very nice to the South African way of playing, you know, the what you call the touch-touch, you know. When he came over here, he wasn't really that kind of a player. Yeah, Prince, you know, at the end of the day, um, these, when, when you're a great player, you, you do adapt. It doesn't matter what, if you look at the likes of Djokovic, um, you know, he gets onto any any court and, and he can win on any, on any surface that he plays on. Um, unless you have, you know, the likes of Nadal, who's, who's so dominant on, on one certain um, surface. So these players, they, they are good purists at the end of the day. Just a second. Uh, you made a present team, a little bit of a as soon as he 
can go a swimming pool and you can play and have your shot. So this day, we take you out immediately. I'm not going to buy anyone's friends. Thank you. If, if you misbehave by making noise or interfering with the play, we chuck you outside. Simple as they say this day. But they say it's not done as well. All right, so Aiden right back in the frame now. And I'm sure the crowd will be hoping for a ghost finish. What a beautiful shot, just missing. Just missing the tip there. Any touch and he would have been in a bit of trouble. What do you think the situation is like uh, it's looking at the table right now? Well, Eden's got to play one good shot, yeah? He can just get this one shot in. It should be in the bag. This is the match that Africa has been yearning for from the time it happened in uh, Kenya, where Caesar scraped through 21-20. Yeah, it wasn't too long ago, and... Uh, since that match, the, it hasn't it hasn't stopped regarding rematches and will they be playing again? Yeah. Let's see what shot Caesar's gonna take here. Very good shot by Caesar. Cool, calm, and collected. Yes, and the boy is a very good pressure player, uh, Richard, from what I picked up. You know what they say? You know we are having a chat any in the day. You know with Aiden. Uh, about you know playing on smaller pockets and whatever, but I say, Rickster, any good cue is pockets really don't matter. Yeah, so long as so long as your eye is in, you know, so long as you're queuing well, if you put in the practice and you're feeling confident, um, it doesn't pockets don't matter. Yeah, and uh, you know, I know these tables well, and um, if you play the ball right, the pocket the, the balls go. Yeah. Let's see how Aiden responds, you know, uh, in the very last matchup that they had, you know, he seemed to struggle a bit with his uh, break that was Aiden, and I can tell you, break is key in this matchup here tonight. Yeah, I think both players will always, will, will always want to break in. Breaking dry is not an option tonight. Yeah. And I know Caesar is super excited uh, to be part of this matchup here. Yeah, we've got um, um, Nafis Kara saying, hi, boys. Uh, Eugene Bogandela saying, Caesar, man. So we got someone, a South African, yeah, really backing Caesar. So that shows you that he's a global figure, you know. Caesar is here to showcase his talents to the multitude of South Africans that are here tonight, Rick Star Well, I just wonder if, if uh, you know, Depending on the outcome tonight, what's going to happen? You know, if Caesar wins tonight, is that like, okay, he's the best in Africa? <laughs> yeah, no. Or if uh, Aiden, Aiden comes back, then there'll be another rematch. So yeah, we live on this uh, stream here by Francis Salim, you know, Q Pixels, you know, from our neighbors in Zimbabwe, giving top-notch media coverage, you know, and uh, what would this game be without uh, outstanding media and public relations? Yeah, looking back in the day, we, we went, well, there's not another finisher. Mm. Going back to your question, Prince, you know, before we didn't have we didn't have live streaming. We we kind of had to like record and then have to watch the match if we could get footage. But uh, these days we, we we're spoiled with all the technology that's available. Having said that, I battled with my stream tonight. Yeah, uh, definitely. The some place technical is, difficulties, but the place is chock a block here tonight and uh, what I can tell you is uh, it's a big, big, big night for 
pool in our country, you know, at the end of Absolutely. the Holy Cup, you know, which was a phenomenon on its own. Is he going to kiss this red onto red off to black? I, th I think he went, went down. a little went too, too hard. far. Yeah. I, don't th I think he was actually trying to pot it, but let the red go straight onto the black. Yes, he um, needed to play a drag yeah, shot. But, yeah, but the, red, drag, the red yeah. went forward. Yeah. So, yeah, with it... Uh, so he came out and touched the ball. Let's see what Aiden's going to do here now. Aiden's got quite a number of fans here, and they would really love to see him uh, come even on this match here. With yeah, there's no, there's no doubt. Um, the, there, there are some heavy fans there. You could even compare to some of the, the English fans when it comes to the Premier League. You know, yeah, and quite blood, interesting. Blood might be shed tonight. Yeah, quite interesting. Uh, and a couple of Australians, I think they're just having their meals at Monty. That will be coming to support here. So it's uh, actually a plenty tonight. That'll be great. It'll be great to uh, get some, some foreign nationals from uh, across the seas to come and check out Pelé Cafe as well as this prestigious match. So, with this foul here, this should be able to bring, we've got Silo, you know, Silo Dick, you know, cheering for Aiden, you know, heavy tonight, so I know that uh, Aiden will be destined to play well tonight, you know, knowing that he's got his top fans right here. And we've got Sean in the house as well, guys, tonight, yeah? Very good opening by Aiden there. He's going to take the yellow on the side, screw back, and it should be carrots. Pretty simple finish from here. And uh, they'll obviously want to get the score back to, to level playing ground. Yeah. But he's still got a long match ahead of us. I mean, it's still early days. What I seem to like with these players is... Uh, uh, Aiden mentally is a bit fatigued from waiting for this game here, yeah, being unsure as to whether is it going to happen or what is sorry. Yeah. What do you think? No, look, I mean, we went to host this match a couple of days ago already, and um, a, a good call from the Ugandan uh, Federation. They said, you know, no, no games while the, the Holy Cup is on. Um, so I think Aiden was already that day, and now uh, a couple of days later, but you know, Aiden, Aiden is Aiden. Yes. I, always, I always say he doesn't really have a bad day. Yes. Um, so I, I, I know a couple of frames in, he'll start pulling it out. Yeah, so we're coming to you live from Billiard Cafe on the Pixels page here with uh, Francis right here with us. What's he going to do, Rick Stein? Is he going to go straight through? Or is he I think he's going to go straight through down to the yeah, bottom pocket. Because if he does cut, then he might just end up. A bit of a crazy it shot. Yes, and, and he's there's also a bit, bit of nerves as well but, in the uh, early stages. He's gonna, he's gonna play some heavy drag, yeah, I think. Great shot there from Aiden. Very good shot by Aiden there. One off. Yeah, exciting times. Uh, one to Aiden, South Africa. That is now uh, Skepin Gatule wooing the fans, you know. Yes, guys. Okay, that's an open break here. Okay. Right, Prince looks like Aiden's on a nice little finish here. Yes, uh, he just need to get himself into a very nice opening here for that last yellow here next to the Reds there. Yeah. Yeah. 
He's pumped up. So you can see the way he's walking around the table. I think I think he's he's almost mentally trying to pump himself up. So his first two frames were a little bit iffy, but he's got a nice finish here to, to kind of up his confidence, the confidence yeah. that he needs. Yeah. Yes. So let's see what happens here. Another good shot by by Aiden. Very good follow. Oh, I don't think There's a bit of an there. angle here. Yeah. Bit of an angle here. Yeah. Yeah, he's landed in trouble now. He overran. He, he can. Uh, look, I don't think he'd put the yellow straight. He could play the yellow onto the other yellow. <laughs> put the yellow by the corner with this yellow. Yeah. And open up the reds and, and hope for a hope yeah. for a position. It's a Munda shot. But if he goes for the pot here, he's in a world of trouble. Yeah. Like I said at uh, the beginning of this frame, Rick said that, that very yellow on the other side was like a problem ball. Yeah. Let's see what you want to come up with here, Aiden. That's the shot you called. There we go. That's the shot you called, yeah. Fantastic shot there from Aiden. You can say by his name, Ricky. I have my moments. I have yeah. my moments. That was an awesome shot. He's not, he's, not, um, he's not landing where he would normally land. He's, yes. not, he's not settled in it's as yet. Nerves, you know, the end, yeah. he's, he's on the ball at least. So. That's Aiden going 2-1 up. Yeah, in this right going one. Here. Yeah. I must say the atmosphere is electric. Yeah. Let's get to see what happens from this point onwards. Okay. okay. We got smooth Gazla here. We're we'll taking us through this frame here with Ricky. Let's get to hear what he's got for this Africa's biggest game. Hey, welcome, smooth. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Rick. Did you just come through from uh, Monty? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finish just, up lucky uh, there. Pulled the captain down on the Holy Cup, so it was very, very nice. We saw South Africa take a lot of yeah, trophies. South Africa was but that's definitely the dominant yeah, nation yeah. there. And uh, very well done to you and your team. Thank you very much. Thank I think, you very uh, much. Pulled up an awesome so event there. Obviously, South Africans will be looking to to have Aiden um, rubber stamp that dominance with this match tonight. Yeah. Um, Look, it is. It's two one already, and I was just saying to Prince, he hasn't he hasn't got his normal touch, but uh, lucky with Aiden, he's always he can make a plan when he needs to. Yeah, definitely. These are people that are very creative. I mean, I had the privilege of watching Caesar this whole week closely. You know, yeah. just to see him um, work his way around a frame and so on. So. It's, it's, Absolutely no surprise that they've played the number of matches that they've played and they're still not an outright favorite. I think he's landed a bit a bit straight in this yellow ball. So looking to come forward past that red ball so they can see the one for the center, but still not easy. He needs a good touch here. Little bit unlucky there. Yeah. It was, a, it was a good attempt. I mean, there was a. It, it, might, it might look easy, but I don't, that, that was a difficult shot. It was definitely not an easy shot. Um, but um, he's let's got two, see how he's he got two yellows in. that he can hit. Hopefully, he hits the first one for his sake. I mean. Look, I think at this level, you don't want your opponent to go to the table. Because these guys are just so creative that they can. You can make anything from from nothing. Absolutely, you, you you've almost got to you know let your opponent sit for four or five frames, not let him get into into the match. If you look at the guys on the nine ball circuit, they they play winner breaks, and that's literally what they do. The one guy can be five nil up, the other guy comes back, and all, all of a sudden he's eight eight five up. I was trying to free that um, 
red that's on the long rail. Yeah, yeah I think Aiden, Aiden's banking on the, the Red Bulls all being, you know, near the cushion. But I'm hoping to get another, another opportunity shot. for Caesar to open up that ball. Great shot there from Caesar. Very good shot. Um, I think what he needs to do is just pull a backspin and get that. Yeah. Yeah, he'll just roll it straight. Cushion for uh, red that is bottom of the cushion. An important shot here for Caesar. Yeah. I know these tables very well. <laughs> the pockets are unforgiving. You you have to hit it perfect. If you don't hit it perfect, it's not going to go anywhere. That's it. Aiden's on a similar kind of shot here. Yeah. Same. Suppose it's true what they're saying. They the balls are round for everyone. Yep. Oh, look, I mean, there's a lot of pressure. See, one thing that I've picked up from Caesar is that you never know what he's feeling because he just doesn't express anything. Yeah, very, very humble guy. Don't, don't see much expression on his face. You understand, right? I think he might have snook at himself. Eh? Oh, looks like he might just managed to sneak through the white to the black for the corner pocket. It's too on, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, Race to 21. Looks like we're in for a good one. Wonderful, wonderful comeback there from Caesar under immense pressure. Um, he really had a few balls to to, to resolve before you could comfortably take the frame. Look, uh, the first couple of frames will always be a little bit iffy. You'll see some nerves. But uh, one of the reasons, you know, it's not just about being such a big money match that they make a race to 21. They also want to get settled in so that you can see some of their best in the, in the middle of the session. And uh, we're hoping to see some fireworks. Come right to see like a couple of breaks and finishes. Look, I mean, these are not easy tables to break on, and to see Caesar break and make a ball, I think it's so. I was playing on this very table literally about an hour ago, and I could not put the ball off uh, off the break of the first ball. I then changed it to the second ball, and I hit two two frames in a row. I got I got in. So yeah. just I think you know, depending on which table you're on, you you need to change your break around. If you if you're breaking dry, you need to change things up. Certainly, certainly. Look, I mean. This is many people's dream game happening in South Africa. Yeah, we were discussing and it earlier. Yeah. Uh, everyone was everyone was actually waiting for this game since since um, Caesar landed in South Africa. It's literally been when is this game going to take place? And while there's been a few other matches taking place, I think this was the one that everyone wanted to see. How do you feel with it happening at Billiard Cafe, Rick? Look, we, we, we love hosting these kind of events. Um, we're all about the growth of pool. We want to um, certainly highlight our players, um, whether it be from South Africa or, or our, you know, our neighboring African countries. Uh, we, we just love this kind of atmosphere. And, and certainly this is, this is a, um, an indicator of what the future holds you know, in Africa. We've got so much talent uh, coming up. Um, we've got ultimate pool that we, we get to watch overseas. Now ultimate pools come here. We've got the IPA as well coming up. Um, and I think that's going to pave a way for a lot of good players. Yeah, you, you, you're quite right there, Rick. Um, you know, with, 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 with BSA having hosted the inaugural Holy Cup, which is an international event, yeah. you know, I, I, think, I think the Federation is geared up 
to 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 try and 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 bring that. So it's it's also lovely to see um, PSA um, bringing ultimate pool. You know, so it's very good for the players. Absolutely, there's there's going to be many opportunities. Hopefully, sponsors will come on board, and uh, yeah, we can have some life changing events. And certainly more, more of these events where we can have um, some of the top African players, if not some of the international um, European players, come through to our South African borders and, and take on some of our best. All right, so it's Caesar landing a little bit short, I think, on that yellow ball. Managed to make a play there. He's on the black ball. You can definitely see enough of it to get into the center pocket. Great shot there from Caesar, taking the lead, three frames to two. Nerves of steel there for Caesar. Yeah, like you're saying earlier, there's no emotion there, just, uh, just another day at the office. Okay. Was that an apple? I'm actually not sure. I think it was. Didn't see Aiden, but I think it was an apple, yeah. yeah. Good selection, good selection. Yeah. Right, can he blow by blow? Can, can he return the favor? Yeah. Does he break in? Yeah, he didn't have to do something about his break. You know, one other mark of champions is that it doesn't really matter where you play. I mean, people were saying, yeah, 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 Aiden must come home and play these guys here in South Africa and whatever. I mean, how this match is starting just goes to show that it doesn't matter where you play. If you're a good player, you just adjust and execute your game. Yeah, it's true. Uh, we, we just made that comparison. I was just saying, like, if you look at Djokovic, yeah, it doesn't matter what country he's, country he's in, what surface he plays on, you know he's going to get to the later stages. Um, no, no different with with Caesar here. He's he's more than comfortable, uh, and I think it's the, the the pressure that he's got used to. It doesn't matter which table so much, but uh, he, he's so used to the pressure, the crowd, um, and just such a, a solid, simple player. Yeah, and 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 what amazes me about both Caesar and Aiden is just the the level of creativity. You know, we, we always try and make things easier for ourselves and, and looking for the easier way out. They make an easy way out. I mean, the, the shot that Aiden played to make score 2-1 yeah. um, with the two yellows in the corner pocket is, is nothing short of fantastic. Yeah, it's mind-blowing with uh, some, of the, some of the shots that these guys pull off. Um, and as you say, you know, if, if, we, if we had to compare it to a drawing, you, you, we want to go a straight line. Um, they will... They will play that that one hard shot and then go for the straight line from there, but their straight line is shorter than ours. Rick, we, we, we saw Aiden defend the All Africa Championship title. Yeah. Then we saw Caesar not do so well in the Holy Cup. Perhaps yeah. the argument can be that the Holy Cup had international players in it. Um the rest of all Africa obviously is just Africa and 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 all Africa. Caesar was not there. Holy Club, Aiden was not there. Do you think any of these stats play any role when it comes to a money match game? Yeah, interesting question. Um, I think it would have to be because at the end of the day, it, you know, it depends on your table time and and the quality of your table time. If if you playing, you know. 15 hours in the day, just because you played 15 hours, that's not, it's, you know, it's too much. Um, whereas if you're playing a couple of hours a day, but it's, it's, it's uh, valuable hours that you're putting in and you're getting your rest that you need or whatever. I know the guys, the, the Ugandans, they, they battled to come over. I think there was issues with their passports. So they must have been tired when they got off the, off the plane. But I think, I think Caesar's now settled and he's, he's playing such a fantastic player. It's going to be a C plus. After his apple. 
Oh. Well, that, that was unexpected. That, that certainly unexpected there. And funny that he, he played it like that. I mean, he could have actually created it quite hard and just moved it out the way. But I, 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 think, he I think he thought he was going to come in front of it, not, not at the back of it. Yeah. Just drop it easy on the middle pocket or in the middle pocket. And and what a frame, what a frame to maybe lose from the situation. Let's see, let's see what he does with this. Maybe he gets it in. You know, with the caliber of player that Aiden is, he shouldn't give this frame away. Um, and what a difference three each to to five, uh, four two would have been. This is not going to be a technical frame. But you know, at this level, these guys don't really play a safety to get a foul um, or a free shot. They just literally just play so that you can give them an advantage of some sort. Yeah. As long as you don't get to pot your ball and they get on the table, I mean, the, the way the yellows are sitting should be an easy finish for Aiden from anywhere. Yeah. Look, some of the guys were telling me uh, one or two shots that Caesar pulled off at the, the Holy Cup where he came out of two, two cushions, comes out of the snook and pots the ball. So, so this is not impossible, but I mean, uh, it's, it's not likely that he's going to pot this ball. Pretty simple finish here for Aiden. He's going to get that yellow for the double. Set it up, sorry. Uh, it's pretty right. simple from here. Low hanging fruit now. But you must still play for it, eh? You know, sometimes when the finish is on and it looks very easy, yeah. you, you you can you can get carried away and not play the white the way it's supposed to. I think this is what you wanted to do. No, I think we wanted to get on that yellow near yeah. the black yeah. earlier. But you'll get on there. And he's coming back for it now. There he goes. It's a good recovery shot there. Yeah. An interesting way to go about it. Uh, yeah, I don't think I would have gone that way, but <laughs> no, um, definitely not. Aiden's Aiden because of those kind of shots, so ghost shots. <laughs> All right, three each. Three each, race to 21. Still 18, 18 frames from one of the players required. Yeah. Still yeah. going to be a while that we are. I got a text this morning from saying, I want your views regarding the match between Aiden and Caesar. Looking yeah. at Aiden's form and also Pilani played against him, do you think Aiden stands a chance to silence the haters? <laughs> Aiden always stands a chance. Always. You can never rule Aiden out. But you see how form can quickly change people's perspective with people thinking maybe Aiden doesn't stand a chance. Yeah, I think so. sometimes um, people just get the, the misconception that if a player is on form that he's no longer the player that he was. Um, Aiden is, is, you know, he's got different things in his life these days, but uh, that, that talent that we all grew to love is still there. It's not like it's just disappeared. It's just uh, a matter of, of him finding it again and coming out feeling confident again. Once he finds that confidence, believe me, he'll be he'll be back on top quite quickly. Um, if anything, Jeremiah is the the man at the moment. And uh, having said that, Nasandila has taken him off his his pedestal. So it's it's just it's, it's so great to see so much quality pull. Yeah, it's it's interesting times that we live in, you know, and and we can only sit in amazement you know and just enjoy the moment yeah it's, um, it's so nice to see school that it's actually becoming a, a massively uh, um, watched sport you know one, one of the, the big factors with sponsors and and why the the game hasn't gone forward is because you know the viewership and i think the the rule of blackball um through the years because of what it's you know it's, it was designed to be a quick game and uh now with africa and europe doing their thing 
yeah, I think it's just a matter of time we're going to get one big sponsor coming on board because of the viewership possibilities. But, but I think we must also do a little bit more. I mean, especially the people that are watching this stream right now, we should try to 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 all play our part in this in this journey. If you are watching this stream, you have to share, you have to like, you have to comment, you have to hashtag billiard cafe or so and so because those are the hits that are used to speak to sponsors. Yeah, they they look at the analytics um, and and um, if if we can just get those numbers, you know, when people talk about viral posts and viral this, um, it's it's all about the liking, the sharing. The, the more something gets liked, the further it goes. So, yeah, you're absolutely 100% right there. Great shot there from Caesar. I don't know if he's on the right angle of the gel to come back because I assume he wants to put the black in the top left hand pocket there. Oh, he's got it. Got it. That's a fantastic shot by Caesar. He's really, really worked his way weaved through all the balls to get position on this black um, to claim this frame. Score is 3-3 three, three, and Caesar has just gone 4-3 on Aiden. It's a race for 21 ladies and gentlemen and it does not give which direction it's gonna go. Both players are playing very very well and it's just a moment of who's going to crack first or who's going to change the gears um, first? Sorry, Spoo, I heard nothing that you said there. <laughs> I'm getting calls from the outside, yeah? I'm handing over to Prince now. Yeah, I joined here on comments here. By none other but uh, Sir Zaza for his memo clash. The African jungle has been set up here for this war. Uh, Spoo, what's your take on this match here? I know it's been uh, uh, a long time coming, but now that it's finally happening, what's your take on it? Neck on neck, uh, Mr. Marake. Neck on neck, I was just uh, informing uh, the viewers that it's not giving which way it's going to go, you know. We're just going to have to wait for the first player to crack or the first player to change gears. Yeah. But as it stands right now, I can't tell who's going to win or who's going to lose because both players are playing extremely well. And the balls are kind of like open here and Caesar was expected to struggle but he seems to be having it easy on this table here. Oh, he's just played this one ball out of position there. Is he going to deal with that very ball now or what's he going to do? Because yeah. he got two of uh, Aiden's balls kind of like caged. Yeah, um, he... he he has certainly put himself under a bit of pressure yeah. um, with that shot. Um, I, he was hoping that he would get a shot, deal with the three balls that are uh, on the left-hand side of the table. But now he's got an extra ball that he needs to sort out. Most definitely an extra ball. And uh, it's not just an ordinary extra ball. It's a massive extra ball that he's got to contend with right here, you know? It's very it good. beautiful, yeah? It's very good. It's actually a finish from the other yeah. And the boy... What do you think Not anymore. Shot? Not anymore. He's kissed it. Uh, kids in balls. He'll have to play a double to get himself out of this situation. The Scorpion and he is makes stinging. it look so easy. Mm. Yeah. Now he can can actually get position for the yellow down table by starting with the cushion and playing a running left side. Just like that. Just needed to add a little bit of, yeah. of, of power there. But I mean, these How does guys he actually come out of this? Uh, he needs to pot and maybe kiss up one of the reds there. Just yeah. to lay perfect. Very uncharacteristic miss by Caesar there. Yeah, I think um, because he had too many things to achieve in one shot. First the pot, 
and the ability to get out of the traffic of red. Um, that's why he ended up with, with, with that shot that, that is so terrible in the bigger scheme of things. Um, but, I mean, he still has an opportunity now, but Aiden has sort of um, taken advantage of the frame by, by securing that pocket. Uh, looking at this uh, ball here, he's got a chance to can actually try and knock it out for the center pocket, you know, to turn it into a three-cushion double. Just, uh, in this, and, and he would have probably tried the same shot for the black. Is Aiden going to do something with the black here? He doesn't have to. He doesn't have to, but if he did, it would probably just make things easier for him. Yeah, I think so as well. So after that setup, he should definitely go for game, yeah. Very nice layout there. The fans are excited. So there's a, there's a feeling of deja vu in this venue here tonight. Aiden's fans are in loud cry here in the venue. Billet Cafe, right in the heart of uh, Rivonia, not very far away from Santon. Look, I mean, Aiden has got fans throughout the continent. Yeah. Um, and it's no different here in Johannesburg, where he probably enjoys more numbers than anywhere else, you know? Very nice said, setup. He, he didn't have to do anything with the black. He's just going to roll it in. Probably play a little bit of right-hand side. Yeah, they should take the score into 4-all. Yeah, the score is 4-all, race to 21. So it's 17 frames yeah. for the winner. Wow. And these guys always go neck on neck. Huh? No quarter given every time they're meeting. It's just the quality of, of, of the talent that they both possess. Um, so interesting to see. Um, so beautiful. And, and what's also nice is that because Caesar didn't come alone, he came with the Ugandan team that came for the Holy Cup, he also enjoys a little bit of fans that are supporting him here. And he's also enjoyed a uh, good crowd, you know, and support from the South Africans, you know, showing that they love good football players, irrespective of where they come from. Yeah, but also it's a psychological thing as we see um, Caesar break and Potter Breaks yellow. Well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On these tables, you mm. know, these are very difficult tables to break on. But he's, he's doing very well. You know, I was saying that sometimes there's people that just in any situation will always support the underdog. Yeah. And this is that kind of situation here in this uh, prime African match here. And it's not to say that they don't like the other player. It's just that they, they believe so That's much. It's a big shot that he just played there. It's good to come out and actually develop that one yellow. But the problem is the center pocket yellow now becomes the key yellow for him to make the finish. Yeah. He but needs to score that and then to come on onto the top one. That's a very good shot. Yeah. Uh, I think it's uh, low-hanging fruit for, for Caesar. This is easy pickings. He should be able to clear this frame. Yeah. And he's, he, he'll be sitting on two apples. Wow. Wow. Will apples play a big advantage in the outcome of this match? Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, they are an important part of the game because not only do they take the score to your advantage, but they also, um, they also boost your confidence. You know, and if you miss them, they can also drop your head thinking you had an easy finish, but you didn't take advantage of that. Yes. It looks like uh, uh, Aiden will have to be on his A game because uh, the mistakes are coming from Caesar, but they are fine few. Yeah, I mean, I think they're both making mistakes. I think they're still a bit nervous, even though they are still giving their best. Um, and, I mean, um, well, half or a quarter of their best is still a marvel to, to watch, you know. Um, I, I don't think they're, 
they're free flowing as yet. Um, but it's still early days, eight frames into into a potentially um, 41 frame um, match. We are still going to see some fireworks. No, most definitely it's cool. And um, if Aiden takes this frame and takes a 5-4 lead, it will be a little bit of a psychological edge. But I think the psychological edge will come whenever one of the players gets a two-frame lead. Yeah, I don't know if 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 that's gonna have much of a bearing. We've seen a match where where both these players have had a, a very big lead, like and, eight and, the, ten and, and and the other just came back. So it's just a question of having the lead and keeping it. Keeping the lead, like you say, it's key, you know. We're sitting with a crowd of easily about 500 people right here in this venue. Yeah, well, that's considering that there's other tables around and, and, and so on. It's quite difficult to have everybody around this table. But, yeah, we do have a lot of people that yeah. are watching this match. But it's a match of high interest, so you wouldn't think twice about how much attention it would have drawn. So the score now is 5 to Aiden Joseph from South Africa and 4 to Chandiga Caesar from Uganda, Kampala with love. And I'm joined here on commentary by none other but uh, Sbu Sezaza, you know. And what do you think about uh, the quality of breaks here, Sbu, in this match? I mean, the break is the most important shot of, of, of any frame. And if you can break and make a ball, you you put yourself at an advantage. So um, it's so impressive to see both players break and make a ball because, as I said earlier on, these tables are not the easiest to break and make a ball. I've always been of the opinion that uh, any great player that's got a great king action should excel, especially playing on this cloth that is more like nap. Yeah, it's Angel. probably one of the best spots because it's not slow, it's not fast. Um, it's really just a matter of adjusting your hand to the pace, you know. Um, so it's a lovely table, a lovely cloth. Um, great setting for a great match. I do hope that one of our brothers, Steven Sokocha, is following us here on the stream here, you know. We're sending our love to you and everyone out here in the rest of Africa, from Tanzania, East Africa, to Botswana, Namibia, you know, Uganda, Kenya. Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe, you know. Namibia. Namibia. Eswatini. Eswatini. Botswana. Botswana, my brother. Yeah. Gaborone. We've just, we've just, why are you saying Gaborone? Kaburoni. 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 Eh, Rakistana. Eh, Batau Batela Batuana, Batavita. Barke Kaburona. Let's see what Caesar's gonna do here with uh, the shot. He's waiting. He's got a very good uh, tactical uh, game, uh, Caesar, you know. This is one of the beauties that I've uh, managed to see, you know, watching him here in South Africa this week. Look, I mean, in a game of this magnitude, you have to employ every strategy that you have in your cabinet, you know, and an awaiting game is, is a very important aspect of a match of this magnitude. Very good shot there by Aiden, also blocking there, so it looks like uh, the safety aspect will be quite key in this match here. Let's get to see Caesar putting there. He's going to make another pot to land well. Is he going to put that red or is he going to wait? I'm sure he's going to wait. This is what put the uh, eight and a chance. To release both the yellow CSBO lying on the cush. It will be risky because it all depends if he did that, where would he leave the white? Alright, because Caesar can always. Maybe he can screw back to. from there. 
Yeah. Not easy to do the ball and ball because the ball no, is not in the pocket. Double. I think he's gonna double for the bottom pocket. If he pulls this double, then we in for something magnificent. We also joined in the commentary by cannon. Sean. You know, let's get to hear from Sean about his uh, impressions of this matchup here. Look at that. Well class. Great player. All the brilliant. Ala Sir Africa, Ala Africa. What a magnificent shot. Caesar. That is a great finish. That is a great finish. That's a, a very good display of talent and skill there by no Caesar to make that. the score 5-5. Five, 5-5. Five. Five, five. It's neck on neck. 16 frames on offer for the winner. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we have a match in our hands. Aiden Joseph versus Chandinga Caesar from Uganda. These are arguably the best and the most talented black ball players on the African continent right now. Very good break there by Caesar again. Can he go for a finish here with the Ritz? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he can go for a finish, and I think he's going to go for it. Um, they're lying pretty for him. Um, it all depends on what his first shot is going to be. You know, because it's not just a matter of selecting the balls. You must also have very good shot selection. Yes, and one thing about Caesar is he's got... A top of the range ball selection, you know, method, you know, that is applied all the time. He's gonna take that ball there, probably take the one for the center pocket. Yeah, and then move down the rail with the red that is at the top there through this side. He's able to gain access to the red that is closer to the black. He's gonna play check right inside there, follow through. That's running side. Yes, yeah. Yes, running side. Yeah. 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 So it's wonderful. Oh, wonderful. 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 All he has to do is just stop where the red is and roll the black into the top. You can even scroll back to take that one same pocket. Yeah, well, that was very, not necessary. Very uncanny. I don't think you will put this. And he puts it. Can you believe it? Commentator's case, you know. <laughs> and the crowd goes ballistic here at Billiard Cafe. I think they're going to take a five minute break now. It has been neck on neck, nothing separating them. Six frames. Caesar to the good against. Five frames of Aiden Joseph. Ladies and gentlemen, they're going to take a five-minute break. So we will also come back Thank in you. about two minutes or so. Thank you. What a game. What, what a game. game. What a game. We've got a Stay spectacle tuned. in our hands. Stay tuned.
Okay, I've got Ricky joining me here for commentary as we resume. We're coming to you live from Billet Cafe in Gauteng, MG Bar. Is Aiden going to make it uh, six four? Ricky, there's a big question. Can he afford to, to go down by two frames at this stage? Yeah, I don't think either, either player would like to go down by two frames to, to the other. So um, definitely he needs to he needs to level up here and just get in a bit of a bit of a rhythm. Okay, right. Uh, we're getting some spectators here coming from uh, East Africa. We're giving them time to be here to join us for the match. Let's get to see what's happening. If uh, Aiden will pull the Spanish Ricky and uh, he needs to screw back to be able to see the center pocket because the black only goes in that center. Yeah, you think you can sneak it in there, Prince? Sneak it in the, in the center pocket there. Yeah. Again, should be easy enough. Or if it doesn't, he could always maneuver it out there with that red by the center pocket. Yeah, this is an 80k pot match. What a shot by Aiden. Is he gonna land perfect? Played well with so the white. He's, he's got a bit of a weird angle with the one on the red there. I don't think you can see the one in the corner pocket. So he's got to go center. The black. He's got to go center, screw back, slight screw back. Yeah, there's the kiss. Exactly what you were worried about. Yeah. There, Like we were saying earlier, though, these, these players are so creative. You know, they'll, they'll come up with something. He needs good landing here. Uh, that is uh, uh, Aiden because uh, it looks quite elementary. And he also needs to make very good position on the very ball that he's faced with now, Ricky. Yeah. Oh, he's opting to go top left first. Very good shot. He's going to screw back there. and develop the black. I hope he hasn't too much of an angle. Do you think he should develop the black, Ricky, or just stop and then take yeah, it to the corner? Uh, I think he, uh, he's the kind of player who'd rather develop it. And yes. Yeah, we've got uh, Quentin and Molifi enjoying the game right here, guys, next to us. Let's get the remarks from Quentin on the match. Uh, magic shots are happening here. So nice. Mm, I don't know how this close he is. Looks like he got a little bit like Okay. We don't know how close he is uh, to that ball. That will depend on how he puts it, the technique. Malefi, looking at the game, what do you think, uh, Brawa? Do you think that uh, um, Aiden's going to make it 5-5 five, five now and get back into the set? Even if he doesn't make it, it might be 6-6. Six, six. Not 5-5, five, five. but eventually he's going to win. Even if he doesn't make it 6-6 six, six, nice, he's going to win. I believe in Aiden. That's Molefi saying he believes in Aiden. So the next two frames are decisive in the context of the match. This is a broadcast brought to you by QPixels. And we're coming to you live from Billet Cafe. Let's see what Caesar's going to do here. Yeah? He might pot and get a snooker. Let's see what he's going to do, Shandiga Caesar, to get himself out of this situation here. Yeah? He played a good shot. He definitely oh, he's got an option. He can snooker if he wants to, or play a little bit right inside and go for it, yeah. But I think he will snooker, yeah. He, did, he needs to be able to...
develop the one yellow that's behind. So that might force him. I've watched the Americans during the Holy Cup year using the diamonds to get out of uh, sticky situations like this, you know. Yeah, let's get to see how Aiden will be able to use the diamonds. Come out of this. Good shot there. Is it good enough to save him? Well, we'll know just now. Because uh, most probably Caesar might need to play a shot. Either in a taking shot to go for it and snooker somewhere in the top. He's a little bit straight with the pocket. Wonder what he's going to do. I think he's just going to play to lay this pocket. It is poorly by the Yes, exactly the way I predicted. There's a gap here, small gap here. Not an easy gap here. He might need to try and double it for the center. Yeah. Let's see what he's gonna come up with here. Aiden Joseph, the ghost. The score is six five. With uh, Shandiga Caesar the Scorpion ahead. This is an 80k pot match. That is 4,000 US dollars in the offering. Let's see what you're going to come up with here. I got Francis. Uh, with me, yeah? And uh, is he gonna go for a center pocket? And he missed it. This should take uh, Caesar into a comfortable position to try and go 7 5 up. The only problem, ball here, yeah. it's the yellow by the cushion. What's he gonna do? Is he gonna snooker? He missed the landing Caesar. He can still snooker. Let's see, he's opting to play the ball down. He's gonna have to come behind the black ball. And he gets that shot. This boy is a natural talent. Yeah. Very good queuing action. Good pot here by Caesar. Is Caesar going to go 7 5 up? Is he going to go 7 5 up? Only time will tell. Aiden has been pre pre presented with an opportunity here to make the score 6 all. Remember that Caesar had an earlier session today against Rain Mashaba at Flames. Aiden just missed that very uncharacteristic. I don't know. I just don't know why Aiden never went center pocket. This is very uncharacteristic. Is the ghost feeling the heat? Caesar has taken a 7 5 lead. Seven five lead by Caesar. This is frame number 13 loading. It's a race to 21 match.
I didn't have to go center pocket there. I'm not sure why he opted to go corner, which was far, far, far too long. We've got uh, Tobegani right here with us, guys. He's just going to say hello, Africa. Mr. Temple. Say hi, sir. Hello, Africa. Yeah, so Caesar are taking here. Yeah? Caesar are taking here. Yeah? Not looking easy options here. Yeah? Let's get to hear yeah, the sentiments of uh, Francis. How you think this match here, Francis? Um, so far, as you can see, Caesar has got an upper hand, but we all know how this game ends. Uh, they've met so far, they've met three times, and it, it ended on a decider. So it's anyone's game. Let's see how it will build up as, as the match goes on. That's Francis for you saying that it's still anyone's game despite the two frame lead. I'm rejoined back here on commentary, but none other but Rick. Ricky, score 7-5. Very uncharacteristic by mistake by Aiden, missing a clear shot to go center. He opted for the corner. Yeah, Prince, you know, one of the things that we haven't seen over the past couple of years, and it's only sort of crept in lately with Aiden, is that um, he hasn't really had anyone challenging him. And now all of a sudden, you know, you've got the likes of Jeremiah, you've got the likes of Caesar. Um, they, they, they come into the party now. They, they're putting him under pressure that, yeah. that he's not used to. Yes, unbearable pressure, we could say. Look at the positioning here by I Immaculate. Think that's, that's a great shot. He's, he's left enough angle so that he can get into the yellow ball there so that he can come on the right-hand side of it and come out for the black. It's a fantastic shot. Yes. Does, he might even not even kiss it to the yellow. He might give the cushion right there in the bottom. Yeah. To, to be honest, Prince, I, I would have I would have opted to kiss into the yellow on the right hand side and let it come back for the black. He wouldn't have had to force anything. Yeah. It would have been a natural shot. So I thought he I thought he got into a great position there, but I think he played that he played that wrong. It's opened very well. I don't think Aiden at any stage in this session will let his guard down because he's a He's coming up against the Scorpio. He can never afford to have his gut down. Yeah. He, uh, he'll definitely want to get this, get this frame back in the bag to get it to 7-6. He doesn't he don't want to get a 3-4 frame defi deficit, you know? Especially at this stage in the game, you know. Um, but ratio 21 matches are normally decided uh, from uh, a player getting like 13, 14 frames. But with these two guys here, we've had 18, 10 lead. 79 lead and what's one winning yeah look you never you never want the gap to be too big having said that caesar came back so well in the last session that they played so you can never you can never count anyone out but at the end of the day you saw you want to be you want to be way in front caesar was uh Aiden was 18 10 up in the last one yeah i mean that's that's sick i think i think if, if people had the choice they would have bit their house on Aiden at that stage <laughs> Yeah. But it's not the it's not the first time I've seen that happen. Um, when he played that five hundred thousand rand tournament at timeout, he was uh, I think he was up against Clint Lewis and I think something yes. crazy like ten two up and I think he lost fourteen he lost, thirteen yeah. or something. Yes, yes. So so I mean he is breakable. He, yeah. Yeah. And then, what what do we say? We we're all human. At, yeah, we're all like, human. You know, uh, there will always be emotions attached to the game. So. You just never know when the player is in the middle of it, what sort of emotion is going through. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's put a spanner in the works for this game. 
you know, Prince, I don't know if you ever remember when, when poker first came out and it was on TV. Yeah. Um, they, they put a heart rate monitors yes. on the players. Yeah. And that was quite interesting because the guys, that, you know, they were trying to bluff and whatever else. Yeah. Um, so they look cool, calm and collected, but the heartbeat is going. And it would be interesting to see the heart rate of these guys at the moment. Because, yeah. I mean, Caesar looks like he, he's just uh, not even worried about anything. But deep inside, you don't know. Maybe the heart is going. Is he going to touch the... Oh. The adaptation from uh, the split cloth at the Holy Cup to the Hainsworth here, yeah, not making life very easy for Caesar. Yeah, I think the pace you, you, you can adjust to. Um, I'm not sure what... I'm, I'm, I think they were playing on new cloth at the other, the other venue that they just came from. Oh. Well, that's a bit of drama. You it the black ball prematurely. Yeah, that's a bit of drama right there. Um, like I said, it's a spoke in the works, that black ball being there. And um, yeah, the season's been caught with his pants down there. So that brings the tally to 7 all. Can you believe it? We're on 7-5. Yeah. Within, within, yeah. within a matter of two minutes. Within a matter of two minutes. We've got Aiden with the player's choice. Mighty branch shot. Coming up against... Um, a calm and collected looking Caesar Chandiga, the Scorpion. And look at this crowd, they're getting a bit rowdy. I think uh, some of the drinks are settling in, so the emotions are a little bit high. I'm checking the cupboard if there's a place. Right, we're into the 15th frame here, seven each. We've got Sipo Marezo here in the building as well. I'm not sure who he's rooting for, but he's here in full force. And he's rooting for Caesar, can you believe it? Yeah, man. Can you believe that, Ricky? We've got some locals saying Caesar all the way. Yeah, often when it comes to, to betting, uh, Prince, sometimes, you know, you'll hear people say, no, they, they bet with their brain, not with their heart. Yeah. So in his mind, he thinks uh, Caesar's the better player, and that's why he's going, oh, the better player today. And that's obviously why he's backing him. I, ca I, ca I can't believe we're on seven each. I mean, it was seven, five, just like three minutes ago. Three three minutes minutes ago and so I wonder if that's going to affect the way uh, Caesar's thinking at the moment. How's the shot? It looks like a very tight one here because you'll need to pot and use the yellow to screw back onto the rail. Yeah. Either way, not an easy shot. What a lovely little touch. Didn't and have to force anything. Such a great touch. Such a natural this boy. Mm. He He's got some traits of Franz Marte, you know. No Isn't it surprising that we see a player who's not really scared to take Aiden on, you know? Well, I mean, I was just saying, I can't believe that the, that the score went from 7 5 to 7 each. And now it's 8 7 to him. It's like he didn't even care about the last two frames. He just said, you know what? Let me put that behind me and get the next frame and on the board. That was a break and finish. Up. Absolutely. Yeah. And this is Caesar's third break and dish. Aiden to break, failing by eight frames to seven. I wonder what that was all about. Did you see the one player handed uh, and it sees a hundred bucks there? Do you think it's for every break and finish you get he's getting possibly, hundred bucks? Possibly, yeah. But the break, uh, they will bet that uh, one player won't drop the ball on the break. 
We want to thank uh, the 3,200 friends that are following us on the stream. Yeah, one of the crowd talking about is Aiden's break. This try break is left. Left is on here for another finish, which uh, could get the Ugandan and two frames ahead again. Yeah, uh, Africa is descended here. Yeah. Right, so just that yellow near the black ball, which is a bit of a problem child. Not sure if he's going to be able to get there. He might just use it as his last ball, but let's see. It's yellow, yeah, it's a, it's a key ball, like you're saying, Ricky. Uh, yeah, I'm just wondering if he's going to wait until the end or if he's going to come down for it now. Yeah, he's definitely trying to get rid of it now. He's got, he's got a back double, yeah? It's just a little bit... Worried about the white ball, I think. But he's, he's got the yellow towards the uh, bottom pocket there. So if he can pull it off, he's, he's got a bit of insurance there. And he's missed it. What's Aiden going to do here? to try and remedy the situation, Ricky? Look, one of, the, one of the exciting things about these matches is there's not really a lot of snookers, but, uh, you know, Aiden, Aiden snooker just now in, in the first couple of frames. So um, I think th there's, there's no doubt that he has to bring snookers into his game. Yes. You know, when you're, not as, when you're not potting as well as you normally are and the dice start settling in, you, you've, got to, you've got to have... Uh, some safety play in mind, you know. Percentage at the end of the day, when you're not playing well, comes yeah. in comes into play. You need a heart of a lion in matches of this magnitude, you know, to really say to yourself, am I going for it or am I going to wait? Yeah. There we go. We just spoke about the snooker and there he's looked for it there. I don't know how good it is. I'm sure you can get out of it. I'm not sure if the snooker's on. The crowd here is so big, we can't really see the whole table. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're privileged to be witnessing this game here live in our show. And he's gonna put the position for the ball in the center pocket right here, right here. I don't know if that's the angle he wants it. I think he wanted to come further down. Not sure if the yellow goes say down to the It's still early days, pocket. you know, despite the, the one frame lead, you know. All Aiden has to do is to get his head right against Sandiga Caesar, who's attacking, you know, like a demon possessed. Yeah. He's not worried about anything. Yeah. Report and screw back. Such a controlled shot. Yeah. It's not, a, it's, it's not as easy as what, it, what he makes it look like. It's going to have to use a little bit of left hand side. The boy is so natural, Rick, so it's unbelievable. Yeah, making it look very, very easy at the moment. And um, Aiden, not putting, Aiden not putting too much pressure on him, you know. I'd like to see Aiden go up and, and see if, uh, see how Caesar reacts, but after That's another break and run, yeah? Wow. I, I, when, when someone's playing so well, I didn't even realize, you know? It's just oh, another, another one, another one, another one. So that was, that was, a, that was a, a reverse dish, you know, a C plus where oh, Aiden yeah. broke dry. Correct. Yeah. Correct. So that was a dry break. Caesar taking the early advantage here, Francis. Um, how big an advantage is it? Uh, well, um, a big match like this, if you are leading, then you have an advantage. But these are big boys, we all know that. Anything can happen. If you dry break, then 
the next player goes for a finish. That's how it is. Okay, joining us here, guys, for short commentary, uh, it's none other but uh, the Nonny Mouse, Shane Pillay. Shane, you've just had a brilliant tournament. The Holy Cup. Put it on green. Just had a brilliant tournament here in the form of the Holy Cup. Just hold it up. Yeah, yeah. And um, what were your impressions of the tournament? It was an awesome tournament. Man. Yeah. Very tiring, but yeah. awesome. Yes. Uh, what are you taking home, you know, from that tournament? Need to put in more time. Yeah. Uh, instead of getting number one, we can try and win the single side for next time. Yes. And having watched these Ugandans and uh, Zimbabwe players, you know, the rest of Africa, what's your impression of their style of play? The ladies were very impressive. Yeah. The guys, I don't know, I don't know whether they were tired, but the ladies really put a show there with the support and all. Yeah. And the fact that they can go pound to pound with you guys, being seasoned professionals, uh, what do you make of that? You know, does it say something about the standard? Because uh, a lot of people in South Africa think that you know some of the players uh, need to learn a, a little more about the game. But they've shown here that uh, they can compete on a level par. From what I saw, they got much more composure than our guys. They play a basic, simple game, nothing fancy. Uh, I think we learned a few things from them, so it's a good thing to learn. We also watched a few of the. Uh, Australians and the Irish, which of the visiting uh, foreign nationals you say were impressive? There's not, not much of them. Mark, Mark Ottinger mainly, he played brilliantly. Uh, I like the way he played. I never watched much more of the other players because our schedules were different. Yes. But, but it was truly an awesome time. Yes. Does, this, does this all go well for you in terms of the forthcoming nationals? I know you've got trials in one month's time and so forth. And no, no, it was good. It was it, it, it became, the tournament was run at the right time, so we gained momentum into the trials with our achievements. So we are on a high. So hopefully we can do the same moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Shane Pile. You know, one of South Africa's, you know, uh, f finest players. You know, in the senior section and uh, a man who's represented us. Uh, you know, in the international scene for quite a number of years. And the same Shane, we wish you the very best and hope you enjoy this uh, live match here between Caesar and uh, Aiden. From what you've seen here, it looks like Aiden is lacking a bit in terms of confidence. I just, I just walked in now, I didn't see much. But hopefully, I come back and tell you after I watch a few things. That is right. Shane Pillay, guys, and Thank thanks you. for coming over here. Yeah? Cheers, Shane. That was Shane Pillay here, yeah? telling us that it's not easy to represent your country. There's two players here, Aiden Joseph and uh, Shandiga Caesar, have just represented their country at the recently finished All-Africa Championship, where Aiden Joseph won the Continental Showpiece by beating Kevin from Zambia. Let's get to see what are some of the people here on commentary saying about tonight's matchup here. We had Zwella Kendaba following us here from South Africa. We'll be getting to see a lot more of the comments from the matches happening here. And Jabulo Stere say, come on, ghosts. Because he came in saying, thank you so much for the, we shall take the win home, we have no choice. William Soko saying, good game, we appreciate your time, Mr. So Jody Michael saying, it's gone. Aiden, please, you must put your balls, we don't need your help. Shandika seems to be attacking, you know. 
And uh, this is one player. He's not scared to go for the balls here, Sean. And uh, what do you make of his uh, ball selection? World class ball selection. Very confident player. Plays his game, right? Uh, I really like the young man and the way he plays. Yeah. But uh, this game here should be able to change. So Caesar is going for a key, key, key shot here. Going for a key shot here. Let's see how he responds back to this situation here. And he potted that one. Is he going to go for a back double here? This looks crazy, yeah? Is he going to go for a back double? It looks basic for him to get a back double and take a 10-7 lead. He kind of like took that shot for granted, you know, that is um, Caesar. He didn't use anything on it, you know? Yeah. We're gonna get to you a little bit here from Hope Setuaba here. He's here in the crowd here. Hope, how are you finding this match? Um, Samarak, it's a very lovely game. I mean, yeah. we're watching two of them. Yeah. Undoubtedly, Africa's best. Um, it's, it's a good, it's a good lesson. It's a good lesson. Yeah. Yeah. We got here Ryan Mashaba as well here from South Africa, from Bushburg Ridge, you know, uh, in Limpumalanga. Ryan, you played Caesar earlier today, and uh, what do you make of his game? Uh, as always, he's got class. <laughs> Nothing much. Uh, Caesar's got class. Nothing. We can't take that away. He's uh, a good player. What do you think he needs to do, yeah, Aiden, to stay in this game? I mean, to prevent a three-frame lead, you know, so nine-seven down. Yeah, the goals must just concentrate, stop making uh, silly mistakes. He's gonna come back definitely in the game. We got here as well in the crowd here, guys. Serenzi Letebe is just gonna say hello, Africa. Hello, Africa. Yes. Your impressions of the match uh, so far? Yeah. No, it's not happy. Not happy. No. Everyone's saying, come on, Aiden. Come on, Aiden. Aiden needs to play a lot, a lot of great shots here. The crowd is up in arms. And uh, I got you on the side, Peter Kobe. Peter, how are you finding this matchup here? As interesting as I hoped that it would. When Aiden and Caesar face off, it is the best of Africa on display, especially in the money match front. One thing that surprises me is that Aiden is not exactly himself, and it more surprises me by the fact that he's on his own home turf, his table, among his fans, and yet at times he plays as if it is not his training table. That is one thing I'm quick to realize in this match, that a home advantage is as if not in Aiden. Um, how important is it for Aiden to come back here and pre prevent a three-frame lead? It is very, very crucial that Aiden doesn't make Caesar take a big lead because a, a, a five-six game lead for Caesar may be insurmountable. Caesar has demonstrated it before, just six weeks ago at Michana in Nairobi, that he is capable of of making a comeback against Aiden. So Aiden should not accept Caesar to take a big lead. He may not be able to recover. Should Caesar win three, four, five games in a row, he may not recover. But I know Eden is a very, very, very talented guy. He can produce magic when he needs it the most, and he can make it. But he has to make it first. Exciting times. Here we go, Aiden. The friend saying, "Here we go, Aiden. Here we go, Aiden." Come on, man. He needs to screw back here to come center pocket. Here we go, man. Aiden. Exciting times here, yeah, the crowd are uh, up in uh, arms, you know, and uh, that's not easy, guys. Uh, we also have here, yeah. Shani Pillar is in the house, guys, gonna say hello, Africa. Hello, Africa, how are you doing? So, guys, it's happening wild, yeah, it's happening wild, it's not easy. Uh, strong crowd here, yeah. up in arms. 
Aiden, eight nine down. Do you think Aiden can make it nine or? I think so. Good cloud here and whatever. We see anything as big as this? No, I didn't. Yes. Very good crowd, almost a 500 strong uh, supporters here, and this is an ATK match, 4,000 US dollars. We are now being followed by 3,000 people on the stream. This is Messi. When you're coming to you live from Billet Cafe in the heart of Gauteng, Rivonia, South Africa, MG Bar. And now I'm going to be handing you over to Rick, who's going to be taking you through this frame here. Right, guys. Caesar 9 8 up. Still an exciting couple of frames ahead of us. Doesn't look like the players are tired. Caesar looks the same no matter what. Rolling the red ball down. Trying to work out what kind of finish he's going to go from here. He's got uh, two reds on a bit of trouble. So I don't know if a finish is the best option. But when these guys play, they just seem to find finishes from nowhere. This is probably one of the toughest frames, Ricky. Not easy to develop or to do anything in this frame here. Yeah, and I, was, I was just saying, uh, yeah, to go for a finish there is a little bit crazy. But I mean, these like, 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 they, they see finishes that we don't, obviously. And there he's played... Uh, he tried to play block. a safety shot, he obviously wanted to block the pocket, but he could have blocked the pocket with the red that he's looking at now, um, two shots ago, which is the, which is what I, I kind of would have alluded to, so let's see what he comes up with now. We've got some representatives here, I see Betuana here from Botswana, here to support with Miss P as well. Yeah, great to see some of the African nations here at Billet Cafe. Yes. I know, uh, I think we, we've top 3,000 3, viewers on the stream at the moment, but I tell you what, the, the atmosphere here is fantastic. We've got, we must have about 150 people all squeezed up trying to, trying to watch this match. Aiden playing a nice safety there. That, uh, that red towards the corner. Yeah, I was, I was about to say that red towards the corner is a, a nice cannon there of the yellow. So he managed to play it at the right pace. Another difficult shot that look, looks easy, but to execute is another story. Aiden looking to see if he can't get both yellows out, I think. Good shot there by Aiden. Having the red in the pocket, you can still see that one red there near the, the other red by the pocket. Now it's just a, a matter of time to see who will be able to develop an open game first before the other one gets a chance. Good shot there from Caesar. <clears throat> There's a possible skill shot there. He has left that opportunity there for Aiden. So I think Aiden is thinking about it. Just how will he get there? Does he do it now? Because that's a bit of a risky shot or does he use the yellow in the pocket to get there? Because the finish is on. It's just that skill combination shot that he needs to pull off. I'm not sure, uh, Rickster, you know, one of the comments was saying Sism seems to be having it easy on the breaks, you know. Uh, has he adapted to the table quite rapidly? Yeah, he has. Um, but, you know, you, you've got to take into consideration Aiden's not potting off the break. What, what, a, what an incredible shot what that was. What an incredible shot. 
What an awesome shot. I've been playing for over 20 years. I never saw that. <laughs> I never saw that shot coming. Yeah. And uh, he's literally just opened up the game for a he finish now. He come round. For me, that was not the right shot, Rickstar. He needed to come round the red to see the balls here in the bottom. I think I think his mind is uh, is on this yellow in the cushion. You know, he, he rattled the ball down the cushion just now. So he knows he can't force it. He's got to play it absolutely perfect and maybe just roll it in. So let's see how where he gets the white ball for this other yellow. It just needs to go natural. It's a bit uncanny of Aiden to actually see him taking that full one minute on a shot, shot by shot. It's not something he does too often. Yeah, it's, look, I mean, the score is 9-8. It's still tight. It's not like he's doing badly. Um, but he's definitely not the, the flowing Aiden that, that I'm used to watching. And it's because it's because Caesar keeps putting the pressure on. You know. We tried to come out for that one. I'm not sure if we really went for the kiss. I don't think so. The chance to develop this ball here in a cushion here, Ricky. I'm not sure what he's going for here, actually. Amazing shot, eh? No, did no, I call it right? Is, yeah, you did. No, that is an amazing shot, but the way he's landed. He's, he's going to still drag it. He's got, he's got a little bit of it. A little bit of left hand side, you know, bottom left hand side to get the angle. Drag, drag left. This, this is the, the important shot now of the frame. If he just pulls us off, it's easy from there. Shouldn't land on the cushion. He's landed on the cushion. He's, he's not happy with it, but I mean, he's got an opportunity for nothing here. Yes. So, uh, you, you'd rather have the shot, you know? You'd, ra you'd rather have a, an opportunity to finish the frame. So, you, you might not be happy with it, but he's still got the opportunity to put this yellow in the black. There we go now. Aiden going on that two, onto that important shot. It's all about holding the white, isn't it? Yes, he left it. Played and well. He's managed to hold it very nicely. Still, you know, at this stage, 9-8 down. It's not an easy black. If it yeah. was the first frame, it would be easy. Yeah, he's got to play a little bit of check right inside there on that ball to avoid the center pocket. Yeah. Uh, a player of Aiden's caliber shouldn't miss this. Yes, Aiden coming to 9-9. We've got a game in your hands, Ricky. Yeah, well, I mean, this is what we, this is what we wanted, isn't it? Yeah. We didn't want a, a one-sided affair. We love it that it's a, you know, a proper, proper battle. This is a nerve-wracking matchup, you know, battle they call it in Africa. Yeah, it's, it's quite uh, amusing to see because I think a lot of the time when our guys go to Uganda or we're able to go and play these guys, it's very heavily based, uh, uh, the crowd is heavily based on, on Caesar's side. Whereas today we're seeing possibly 70% South Africans coming out to support their local player. And then, the, you know, you've got some of the Ugandans and other African players, obviously, who love Caesar. So it's, it's a nice balance, I think. Most definitely nice balance. And uh, we're saying, Africa, we're coming to you live here. There goes the black. It's going to be a re-wreck. Well, just to let you know, on uh, Saturday we're at the Hollywood Bets Tournament, we draw five names, and those five names, they get an opportunity to, to do a golden break. They get a golden break. They win themselves 10,000 rand, sponsored by Belit Cafe. So uh, just some useless information for our viewers. It would have been so nice if we had one of the sponsors who could literally keep Caesar here for the Hollywood bets, and it just flies back on, on Sunday. Yeah, that's a fantastic idea. I don't think we're far away from that. I think a lot of the sponsors are starting to see some sort of traction in our sport. So I, I think it's just a matter of time. I think uh, the players are, are definitely at, at a level which is giving the viewers, um, you know, some some great some some great sport to watch. All right, Caesar to break again at nine each.
And another break where Caesar breaks in. Color balls, you think Caesar will go for the Reds? I would definitely tell you, Prince, if Silla was not in, in my way. Right now, I'm seeing South Africa. <laughs> and his big head. Yeah, it looks pretty open on both. So I think red or yellow. Reds are better because there's only one ball to deal with from the left yeah. inside uh, pocket there. Yeah. So yeah. even Francis here next to me is feeling the heat, you know, as a media man. So this is a match of massive proportions. Uh, great, yeah. great shot there from Amanda Caesar. Well controlled. Well controlled shot there just to get onto that red. Again, a simple shot, but not easily executable. And uh, not much. I think to do he landed now. the way he wanted to, Ricky. I still can't see much of the table, so I'm trying to make out. Yeah, he's left himself a bit of an angle, but he's got that other red, which he might go for now. I think he can hold it with this red. Going for another break and run, yeah? And he, get, and he gets a good angle. And a bit close to the cushion there. But having watched him uh, for the last 18 frames, he also seems to just make do and develop where, where he has to. That's, yeah. that's the secret of pull, isn't it? If you run yeah. out of position, you need to be um, good enough that you can get back into position. Oh. He was not happy with where he landed, like you said. No, he wasn't happy. But he, he could have developed it, I feel. Um, so he's let, he's let uh, Aiden back in and possibly uh, Aiden can go in front, I think, for the first time in about eight frames. Very yeah, lovely so shot Aiden by Aiden, huh? That's yeah, so Aiden we know. And the crowd is going wild here, Prince. Crowd is going gaga, you know? The match Africa has been waiting for. Classic pool match of 2023. Yeah, you can see he's got a skip in his step there. He's looking a lot more confident. Very good landing by Aiden. This is uh, top drawer stuff, Ricky. The crowd is going gaga. Absolutely nuts. Right, and it takes one frame to go 10-9 ahead for the first time in quite a while. And yeah. he's definitely going to be wanting to extend it to a two, two, two frame three frames, frames yeah. so that he can uh, he can hold on to that lead. Um, I think Caesar will be a little bit disappointed with that last frame. He kind of had it. Ten nine, the score is to Aiden. First Can time he's leading in this match, and he goes dry. And the Reds are the conning. Too many dry breaks here in this second uh, round of the match, here, Ricky. Yeah, too many dry breaks. What do you think, Prince? What's the time at the moment? The time it's at the moment, it's uh, 5 minutes to 11. So it's 5 minutes to 11. We, we're just about halfway through the session. And uh, I don't know, what, what time did we start? We started at 9 o'clock. Okay, so 9 o'clock, so two hours. I'm wondering if we're still going to have viewers on a Tuesday morning at, at 1 o'clock in the morning. We're hoping so, but uh, at the rate this game is going... Uh, I don't see us going past uh, the next 90 minutes because 
they're building up momentum. Yeah, they're definitely starting to finish a lot quicker. They're taking their opportunities. We've, we've seen one or two snooker and safety shots, but, but not much. And uh, Caesar once again on another finish. I mean, he just needs to be able to get a very good shot and kiss off the yellow. Yeah, so a little kiss bit. Off the yellow yes. And then just come after that other red because he's going to come around for the black ball in the middle pocket, I assume. Yes. So he's just going to pull back a little bit, leave an angle on that last red towards the bottom left hand side there. And then come, come through for the black ball into the middle pocket. The way, the way Caesar is playing. That should give you an impression that uh, he has a potential ultimate pro player. Yeah, wouldn't we love to see that? Oh. Look at that landing, no? He did put it on the left side there just to sneak it out of there so you can see the black ball. Unbelievable. Another appearance by uh, Caesar. He just gone. doesn't seem to be stopping at any he's, time. He's, he's, here for, uh, he's here for the long run. He doesn't care how many frames Aiden takes. He's, he just keeps taking them back. With just a frame number 20, the score is 10 all now. Yeah, so we're literally halfway through. Yes. Halfway through the match. And it doesn't look like this crowd's going anywhere. It's definitely not going anywhere, but uh, because of the humidity in this place, you know, in this venue here, yeah, Ricky, might just call for us to uh, sneak in a small other break, you know, five yeah. frames from now. Humidity is quite, but I heard someone say, make it rain, make it rain. And, uh, make it rain. Uh, that's where the humidity is coming from. Meanwhile, on uh, one of the outside tables, Sandina is playing uh, Jeremiah. I'm not sure, but I know Sandilia was up in that match, but I'm not sure what the latest score is there. We'll give you an update of uh, the scores in the table there. And uh, yeah, whilst Ricky taking you through that dry break here, I'll be able to give you the scores of what's happening on the other side shortly. See you now. Right, so. Aiden with another opportunity to try and develop something here. Would it be a fantastic thing if you could see what is going through his mind right now? Ten each, finally got the lead, and um, Caesar came back with a fantastic finish there. So will he be able to return the favour and finish from here? A little bit unlucky there for Aiden. Hoping for a better result than that, I'm sure. He hasn't really given this this shot much thought. Let's see what he can come up with. Although I feel he rushed that, um, he, he potted it extremely confidently. So maybe he's seeing something that we're not. One good shot, what they're saying. That's uh, Muzi's famous line. Muzi, if you're watching, one good shot, my brother. It's going to have to smack this yellow to double it into the center so that it can absorb some of the, the angle. Played it absolutely perfect. I can't see from this angle, but I'm not sure if that's the angle that he wants. So again, he's going to have to pull off something to get to those other yellows near the bottom cushion. Tell you what, that was, was one incredible shot. I think that yellow easily goes past the other one. And he's literally developed a frame which, from my side, didn't look like it was even there.
Yeah, he was trying to hold the white ball there. I think that's that was on his mind, and he's ended up missing the pot. Not really missing it. Came out came out short. Let's rather say it that way. So see the back of the table. He's got a combination shot on. I think that's what he'll be looking at now. To play the combination shot and land on the red. That's closest to that corner pocket. I think he wanted to kiss that red. I don't think he wanted to go past it. He's looking at the cannon to see if he can still get rid of those two balls now. Played it so effortlessly. Still got a little bit of work with those two reds, but I think I think the train is on. I can't see from this angle. Another great shot from Caesar. Is he going to put the red and develop Ricky, or what do you expect him to do here? I think he's going to go develop it right now. He hasn't landed He didn't land it well. He's landed. But he can go center pocket. Center pocket with the white ball. I think the white ball is a bit of a worry. He doesn't look too worried though. I mean, he's gone straight he's down onto his shot. Center. Check left hand side. Two cushion. This boy has got no problem with putting. <laughs> too easy, too easy. Putting is like having a breakfast zero for Caesar Shandiga. What a fantastic little finish from him. You know, Aiden, Aiden had such a great finish, and he just landed short with that one ball. And then, uh, you know, the reply from from Caesar was uh, was, uh, was incredible. This is uh, mistakes made in millimeters. Unreal. Unreal. We got three thousand people on the stream right here, right now. Yeah, that's good to see. Well done, Francis Q Pixels. One day I'm sure we'll be on 10,000. We'll be looking back saying 3,000 is nothing. But well done. Well done on a fantastic effort. Keep it going. Guys, just a reminder for those of you in Karting, we've got our 25,000 Rand Hollywood Pets Event Series 4. Series event for this Saturday. We still have some open uh, spots for the open players, and uh, I know one or two of the seniors players can't make it. So, if you'd like to enter, just get through to our Billet Cafe SA page, and uh, we'll get hold of my number there, and you can enter. Aiden missing that that shot, giving uh, Caesar another bite at the apple. Yeah. 11 10 the score is to Caesar. Let's see how this frame here is going to turn out. This could be one of the key frames, uh, Ricky, you know, the difference between 11 all and 12 10. Yeah, the two frame difference always. Oh. He's just pulling off shot after shot after shot. Unbelievable. Ball off ball, huh? Train shots, combination shots. Doesn't he remind you of Tommy Kangas back in the days? <laughs> Tommy Kangas. I'm pretty sure Tommy would. Tommy, Tommy might even be watching now. Yeah. What a great potter from Finland he was. Yeah. I wonder what uh, Caesar's going to do here, Africa, with uh, this ball here, the red that's next to He's opting for safety. The oh, I mean, that's game. Not, a, not something you see very often from him. But obviously felt uh, there was no no way of developing the balls the way the, way the white where the white was. So Aiden back at the table. Doesn't have much either. And we've got another massive match happening right here at the back between Sandile Mazala and uh, Jeremiah Green Naidu, where Sandile Mazala is leading by 10 frames to 5 in a wow. race to 15 match. Seems like Sandile's got uh, Jeremiah's number at the moment. Sandile's got his mojo back. Yeah. 
Uh, I think it's, uh, remember we're discussing at uh, the Becker Le Becker event. I think it's that hair, you know, like Samson. And Samson hairs, when his hair gets cut, he loses the, the plot. Uh, and Sandile with that crazy, crazy hairstyle. Well, I mean, those are the shots that, that the crowd comes to see. You know, yes, you want to see finishes, but it's those crazy shots that, that no one else thinks of that, that the crowd wants to see. Yeah, no, Aiden, Scott over at its West End all the time here yeah, because he's up against a player that keeps him on his toes in the form of the Scorpion, Caesar Shandika. Yeah. Um, if you take the last session where uh, Aiden was 18, 10 up, and you look now, and you you got to you got to think to yourself, you know, you got to wonder like, has uh, has Caesar got Aiden's number? Massive frame they involved him, you know. Even Silo, he's right on the edge of his seat now. Yes, skip it. Oh, he told me earlier he doesn't think he's gonna stick around for the whole match. It's a bit long. But he hasn't, he's been glued to his seat since, since it started. And he's getting a beautiful shot there, so you can play on to the, yeah. the peg right there, ball to ball. If he gets a good kiss on the yellow there in front. There we go. There Another we go. great shot. This boy is an East African giant, I can tell you. Great shot there by Caesar. Nice, simple. Using the angle of the his last red ball in the pocket to get onto the black. And uh, this is, uh, I think, a formality. Too easy, too easy, and two frames ahead again. The score Aiden's is now. Aiden's going to have to dig down deep now to ten. try and level the scores. So the score is 12-10 um, to Caesar now. And if you think that you know, if, if, if Aiden, if Aiden needs to get to 14, 12, I mean, that's four frames in a row that he would have to hit now, which is, which is not easy, considering that we're getting closer and closer to the 21 mark. And uh, the finish is on. He's breaking like hell, uh, Caesar. Sorry about that. Someone Let's just elbowed the tripod here, there. Uh, this is the biggest frame of the match here, uh, Sean, you know. Difference between 12-10 and 12-11. What's your impression of it? Uh, it's a three-game swing, eh? Uh, Aiden has to win this one. So we'll get to see what happens. Do you think that uh, Aiden has enraged his second year? Well, he, he, has, he has moments of brilliance and then kind of, I don't know if it's just the dry breaks or a little bit unlucky here and there, but he hasn't, he hasn't uh, hit full momentum. But uh, for me, the player at the moment is definitely Caesar. He's he's enjoying himself on the table. He's making finishes. He's developing the balls. He's playing balls of balls. He's just in a on another level at the moment. And uh, I think I think if he goes 13-10 up now, he'll, it's the first time in the match where he'll be three up. And if I'm not mistaken, that means he would have won five frames in a row or four frames in a row. It's very important that one gets to maintain the momentum, especially in matches of this magnitude, because uh, three-frame lead changes things. 
the man is pulling up short from the encyclopedia of pull. I'll tell you what, Prince, this is an awesome, awesome match to watch. Just because of the way Caesar is playing. He's just, it's like he's pushing buttons. It's out of this world, Caesar San Diego. Absolutely not. And that takes him three frames ahead. Yeah, yeah, we're joined back by Francis here, who's just had a shot at wings break. And uh, Francis, what do you make of this finish? Is Caesar just pulled off another one uh, to take a 13 10 lead? You know, Caesar is just something else. He is, uh, he's a scorpion. Yeah, we can actually feel this thing. But, uh, like I said earlier on, we still have a lot to watch, so let us hang in there and see how this match is going to end. Where are you watching this match from? Please give us a comment and tell us where you're watching this match from. Are you watching it from Nairobi? Are you watching it from Dar es Salaam? Are you watching it from Venduk, Nigeria? Where are you watching this match from in Africa or Australia? Tell us. Let's see what's going to be Aiden's response in this. Is he going to play yellow, red onto yellow to open and have a free run? Very good shot by Aiden there. Okay, Africa, we're united here at Billet Cafe, right in the heart of Gauteng, GP in South Africa. And this is the match Africa has been waiting for, you know. This reminds me of uh, those top clashes, you know, in the African Cup of Nations, you know, between South Africa and Nigeria, you know. Those used to be very close encounters, and this one is no exception. What's Aiden going to do now, um, Francis? Is he going to put in the corner and then a corner? I'm not going to pocket, then stand up. Let's see how he's going to control the white ball. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect shot. You know. Aiden on for a finish now. And a good finish by Aiden. This brings us. We've got Ed here following us from Kenya, from Ghana. Frodman Nakumo saying top shot, Eddie. We've got Godfrey Molakehi following us from Germany, and he says, I go with Caesar. Venduk Namibia, Ivan Grunewald. 
And we've got uh, Sir Isaac Mati following us from Oman. Can you believe that? Yeah. Iftikar, Iftikar is also here in the house, guys. You know, the devil poison is right here in the house. Let's see what's going to happen here now. Is he going to play yellow onto red? That can on there? So or put and release the red? Yes. Well, the intention was, was okay, but the perfection wasn't that. Uh, let's see what he's going to do here as a form of a response. Caesar's got an array of shots, you know, the man just doesn't run out of shots to play, you know, for the occasion. His uh, shot selection is different. World class. Great player. That's Sean telling us here that uh, the shot selection, he's just left himself on a snooker. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen, Africa, we've just been joined here in the house by none other but Harry Houdini Martin. Harry, how are you keeping, man? Oh, good, and you? Yeah. It's good to see you here, yeah, and uh, you just completed um, the One Africa Championship as well as the Holy Thank Cup. Thank you, all of you. How has it been like for you? It's been hard and long. I'm glad it's over. Yeah. I played some bad pools, so I'm glad it's over. Yeah. But you're going to go back to the drawing back and come back strong for the... That's Harry Martin coming to join and watch the match here. Yeah? Uh, what's your impression of Caesar's game? Haven't seen him play, you know, in the Holy Cup. I think he's uh, very overrated. As a player myself, I've watched him play in the Holy Cup. I watched him play against Aiden before. I think if he should move to South Africa, he won't. He, he won't have such a big name like he has in Uganda. I think Uganda is just stuck with limited amount of good players, and he's there. But yeah, I do think he's overrated. He plays. He plays an average game. There's nothing special about this game. But that's my opinion. That's it from Harry Houdini Martin, guys, saying, yes, uh, I've been following Caesar, but he's a bit overrated, you know. But uh, opinion is opinion. What is sport without opinions, you know? Let's get to here uh, from Hope Sitwaba. Bonadim uh, Bolaye, please tell us your impression here. Yeah, this Caesar going for it here. Yeah. Is he just going to play top right hand side here yeah, to come out here yeah, in the middle of those two yellows there? Yeah? There, he's got the perfect shot. Anyway, he lands there. He just steps it in, and then he's on the black. For me, watching this boy, this boy is, this boy is something else. Man. He's got he class. He kind of reminds me of a bit of what he likes. He's class. He's a good player, but hopefully Adrian can work some magic and come back. That's it. Fourteen, ten, fourteen, eleven. What can you say, Mr. Morake? No, oh, what can I say to you, Mr. Francis, is that uh, Caesar seems to be playing very, very well. So because of the humidity in the area, we'll have um, uh, three more frames and we'll have a short break again. Okay, so where do you think Erin is getting it wrong? Like I was asking earlier on, where do you think Aiden is getting it all wrong? Uh, it's not a case of Aiden getting it all wrong, 
but more a case of he's not getting the free run, you know, that he's expecting to get, you know. And uh, that makes uh, life a little bit difficult, you know. Um, let's get to hear the impressions of um, uh, Aziz Williams is here in the crowd as well, guys, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, amongst the crowd watching us here tonight, we've got none other but uh, Cape Town's finest in the form of Aziz Williams. Zizou, your impressions of this match here, how are you seeing it? Very good match. Brilliant, brilliant from the back inside, brilliant from the outside. And your impression of uh, Cesar Shandiga's game, you know, being an East African, doing it here in South Africa? Uh, I was watching him at the Nationals, not at the Nationals, at the Ali Club. Uh, He's got a stroke, eh? He's got a brilliant, stroke. brilliant player. And how was your two weeks stay in Joburg, you know, with the Holy Cup and all of that? We had a fantastic uh, uh, tournament. Like in say, it was brilliant. Uh, uh, South Africa basically took it away, so they come. Continue enjoying the game. That is Aziz Williams joining us here amongst the crowd, guys. Uh, we got some fantastic crowd here. Coops, Tembo is also in the house. This is a race to 21 match between the Ghost in the form of Aiden Joseph up against the Scorpion, that is Sandiga Caesar. And Sandiga Caesar is in the lead 14 11, and I can tell you there's a little bit of mute from Aiden's friends. Is it going to stay like this, or will the mood change? Only time will tell. My brother over here, just tell us your name and which country you're coming from and your impressions of the match. Hello, my, my name I'm called Caesar, and the guy that is playing is my namesake. I'm from Uganda. I'm watching the game. Caesar is leading with 14, and Eden is 11. This is a game that I've been for some time. Eden came to Uganda and won Caesar. They went to Nairobi. Caesar won him twice. It's a game of it's a game of champions, so we are just enjoying the game. It's very nice. We hope to see the best of the best today. Thank you so much. We are enjoying, guys. Are here. Everyone is cheering the team. Eden has got supporters as usual. He's got more supporters from Uganda. People have gathered from Cape Town. All four online provinces have come to watch him. Yeah, we are so happy. We are enjoying um, the Briard Cafe. It's a very nice place to chill in. Guys, I'm calling all of the South Africa to come and check this place. Nice food tables. Nice vibe. Everything is 100%. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lara Caesar from Kampala. What a magnificent shot Aiden went for there, but he ended up snow cut, you know. Uh, not sure, but uh, for the moment, it seems to be rolling for Caesar, uh, Francis. Yeah, unlucky for Aiden there. After a nice double. Chance for Caesar. Caesar might need to wait here. He might need to wait. You never know. These these boys they always believe in going for finishes, you know. Let's see, ladies and gentlemen, what Caesar's gonna come up with. Is he gonna be brave enough to attack it here? I think he's going for a finish. I think he's going for a kill. What do you think? Yes, uh, he doesn't. He's not one that likes to give his opponent a second chance. And um, for the very first time in the match, we might just witness, you know, a four-frame lead, something that we haven't experienced. There we go, Caesar. He's gonna have to pot and come around. He's been. Having a party out of the cushion ball, so look at how close it comes here, wow. Rickster. What do you think the boy does that's different? Oh, it's just he's just playing so confidently tonight. I mean that, that last shot to get onto the back. So easy he makes it look. So easy. Lots of size when he put on. And he didn't even think about twice, just did it so quick. He's in his own that's right now. The crowd is going gaga say. The unstoppable Chadiga. 
Oh. I didn't see this Bolivia, coming. Bolivia, let's get to hear from you. Your main man, Aiden, is 15-11 uh, down. Is there still a way back for him? If Aiden will never know, man. If Aiden will never know. Although Caesar, Caesar's not making mistakes, you know. But Aiden is making mistakes from the break, man. This, this uh, 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 dry breaks are killing me, honestly. Because now, he has been making dry breaks. 90% of, of the time is dry breaks. So, uh, but, you know, with Aiden, by everything is possible. I haven't, I haven't lost hope. Caesar is six frames away from victory. Yet Aiden is 10 frames away from victory. Well, no margin for error. Well, like I said later on, it's the game to watch. We st there's still more to to, 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 to learn. Let's, let's wait and see. Uh, we, we all know Aiden might come up with a ghost shot. Never know. You just never know when you <laughs> yeah, no, uh, Harry Houdini. Harry Houdini gave his views on the match. I know a lot of people won't be happy. Sibongilem Mokwena says, I am following. Is he going to get a back double then? Very, very good speaking by Aiden. Aiden just brought the game onto a 12 15. Dry break, can you believe it, ladies and gentlemen? What will Caesar do? Yeah, is it gonna go red? There's a red touched with a yellow next to the center pocket. Is he gonna get the yellow? Because if he plays yellow, he'll need to come around into the second yellow to get off the key saw by the yellow with the standing next to the other red there. So either way, he is going red. Caesar is number one in Africa. Shout out to Prince Morake. Tell him I say he's doing a splendid job in the commentary box. That is Mwanza from Zambia with love. 
I can tell you right now, ladies and gentlemen, that it's that big shot here that needs to happen. He tried to open that. He did not get the opener. Remember, we're going to be having a short break, 10 minute break after this frame here, just to get the players' batteries recharged. Big, 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 big frame in the context of the break. Either 15, 13, or 16, 12, so yeah. yeah. Who will enjoy the break? <laughs> will it be one with a three frame break, or one with a four frame lead? So the break is uh, key in this match up here. So Aiden should be able, Aiden should be able to take the frame here if he puts himself well into a good position here. He's a defining frame for the match. Frame all the balls, up, all the balls open. He has to finish here to close the gap before 1530. Whereas so, um, Sean is saying um, Aiden needs to make sure that he doesn't go four frames down. That could be a trouble situation for him. Uh, uncharacteristic mistake there by Caesar in this matchup here. Uh, Sean and um, yeah, you one think of the Aiden should be able to make no session. Uh, I think this frame is finished and we had the break at 15.30 plus. Yes. I can't see Aiden missing from here. Yes. But he needs to be calm in going about his business that is Aiden because obviously he's feeling the heat. Remember, he's at moments where he's been up and Caesar rallies back to take it. But now, what will it be like when Caesar is up? Will Aiden keep fighting? Yes, I think Aiden will still be in the match because very experienced player. We've heard from Caesar as well from Kampala telling us that you know this could be the Scorpion's time, you know. We've got a break loading after this frame here, ladies and gentlemen. It's not gonna be the longest of breaks, but it's a much needed break, you know, in the context of the time. So Aiden needs this frame to cut the deficit from 15-12 to 15-13. What will happen if Caesar takes a 16-12 lead? Very good shot by Aiden then. I'm with Francis here in the bright lights and the big city of Johannesburg, you know, right in the heart of uh, this central business district of Sentin, you know, in Rivonia. Uh, Francis, what has been like you spending your two weeks here in Johannesburg? Uh, so far, so good, Prince. I can't complain. Despite that, um, uh, it has been a busy week. Uh, should I say two weeks? Yeah. But I'm enjoying my stay here. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, Francis enjoying his stay here. Enjoying his stay in massive, massive frame. Is he gonna pot and go straight through? Check that red there next to the. Did you see the chief of the red? We will be back again, guys. The time now is uh, 
almost 21 to we'll be back again at 22 for reason Well, ladies and gentlemen, players are going for a short break, five minutes short break. Stay tuned.
Very nice break by Cesar Day. We're resuming with the scores being 15 to Cesar and 13 to Aiden Joseph. Cesar wants to get to the top of this match. Take a commanding lead. He tried to release both the balls. He can put softly to come on the ball in the bottom. He's gonna release whilst he still got He did not get the right release. Caesar Shandiga, the Scorpion. What's he gonna do? This is a match for Africa. Aiden has been given a chance at redemption. Is he going to redeem himself? Very nice double there by Caesar. Very nice double there by Caesar. Let's see. What's he going to do here? Caesar, can you see this ball here? If we can see it and cut it onto the pocket, we'll still keep uh, Aiden under pressure. Anyway, you know, this could bring Aiden onto a 15-14. Very unlucky of there by Shandiga Caesar. He was definitely going for game. They didn't develop both balls. I'm going to get to you from Peter. Peter Kobier, your impressions of the match? Yeah, the game is becoming closer and closer and more respectable. Caesar is about to lose the third frame in a row. I believe in one minute or so, it will be 15-14, and the game becomes too close to call. Yeah. Too close to call, the game will be, says Peter Kobe. So. Let's get to see what the comments are. I mean, uh, the viewership has like, uh, gone up again. I then... 14, Caesar 15. We've got a humdinger in store, uh, Francis. From these two boys. Like I said earlier on, we still have a, learn, a lot to learn from these two boys. They are good shooters. It was game. So, Caesar is up 15 4. Race to 21. Aaron Scratch is on the break. Good chance for Caesar. There was an enough on the break. Enough on the break there. Uh, Francis 
How big a frame is this going to turn out to be? Uh, I would say Caesar will check this one. All the balls are open. He is expected to take this frame, yes, yeah, Caesar. Definitely is going to take this one. Come on, Aiden, so says Andy Lema Digizela. Thanks, man. Come on, Caesar says Ruta Isire Robert. Kabanda Jimmy says, don't allow him, Caesar. You know? We don't know. We don't know what's going to happen. This is the biggest frame of the match. The difference between 16, 14, and 15 all. Caesar, I can tell you, yeah, Ricky, that uh, with this boy, potting, it's like second nature. Welcome back, Ricky. Yeah, went away for a small break. Surprised to see Aiden's come back quite nicely there. Yeah. 15, 14, but uh, this frame looks like it's pretty much done. This man has got a genius stroke. Huh? Yeah, he's got a great, great touch tonight. Seems very comfortable on the table. Yeah. It's like he's playing at home, Ricky. Yeah, absolutely. So, Billiard Cafe is the home away from home. Must be, must be. What is the Billiard Cafe slogan, Ricky, that you can share with those watching? Sorry, what is I'll be slogan? right back. They need some tokens. First, tell us your impressions of the game thus far. I mean, you've been watching and uh, you yeah, and uh, I know you're backing your boy, Caesar. Tell us your impression of the game. Introduce yourself to our uh, yeah, It's a 50-50 game. Currently, you can't say anything because both are professional players. And uh, being a sportsmanship, we have to respect and understand that anything might happen anytime. As how it looks like Caesar is having chances, but Aaron is having chances because this is a playground, it's a home ground. So he knows the drill, he knows what to do. I'm sure he'll do the best. All players are giving out the best. That's what we are looking for, basically. Uh, I think uh, the day before yesterday, I was told Adi at the Flames. I think it's the right time now. People should pay, come and sing these games because we are really entertained. And we can all see that... Uh, it's a, it's, a, it's a full of professionalism we need. So now we should trust on what we have in our own land, in our own soil. So the rest can be the best, but as for now, let's hope for the best. The rest can be the best, but let's hope for the best. Yeah. Thank you, Press. We're going to be looking into the stream back again, you know. Stream still on. Aiden needs to get this vital pot here to try and come to. Easy when I try and play that yellow to clip open the black. Let's see now. He went wild, Aiden. Aiden went wild. Do you think Caesar is a bit of a mountain too high to climb for Aiden? I think I think today, you know, with, with watching him play so so effortlessly and flawlessly, I think uh, if anything, Caesar is the the one who's playing just that much better. You know, less mistakes. Um, Aiden Aiden is kind of fighting. You know, fighting to, to get back in, whereas Caesar doesn't just just carries on. Do you, do you think that probably the match that Caesar had in the day against uh, Ryan was more like a fine tune for him for tonight? Yeah, there's no doubt. He, he used that match as a um, almost like a curtain raiser for himself. You know, to get himself prepared for this match over here. Probably wanted to get the confidence going. Uh, 
um, get some money in the pocket and then and then come here and, and take on uh, arguably one of our best ever. Yeah, we've seen some great talent that uh, recently finished World Cup. We also saw Dero, you know, getting a token of appreciation as one of the proud referees of the tournament. Yeah, go Dero, well done, man. I mean, he's also uh, an avid pool lover. What a great double there. He's not, a, he's not afraid to play the doubles, is he? Yes, like and uh, if he lands well on his double, he's got a kiss of that yellow there that will guide him. He just needs to play a little bit of top. He might want to come and take this center pocket. That's He's a good pass there, the yellow. It looks like he wants to go for that. I don't know if it goes past. Yeah, wow. I, I, didn't feel, I didn't feel like it went past. So all of a sudden, all of a sudden, Aiden's back in this game because the combination shot is on there. I don't know if you if you want to go for it. Yeah. We oh, got... We got Leon McRevchol joining in here say, come on, light it to Aiden. Uh, come, yeah. come on, Leon, Leroy going very vocal here to say, come on, Aiden. I like it, Aiden. Come on, boy. Come great, on, great shot there very to the middle of yellow. So it looks like he's going to go for the uh, shots, you know. Oh, it. It's going to take a lot of mental strength for Aiden to stay in this matchup here. Aiden, man! Aiden, boy! Come, boy! Come, he, he needs a very good shot here, Aiden. To pot. Come, he, boy! He needs to be able to pot. Come straight onto that yellow there, then he's gonna try and develop it. That's it, Lighty. Easy, easy. Come, boy. Come let's boy. see. Let's see what's he gonna do. Aiden is gonna be brave enough, Rickstar, to go for it. Yeah, I think he's gonna go for the combination. Huh? Is he gonna go combination or play it's left it's inside it's to try and clip it off? Really difficult one. He just has to be he's right gonna try and clip it off. So this is a. And it went a little bit too loud. Firstly, I would have gone for the combination shot. Yeah. Yeah. Is he going to get the double that gets put well, if he pulls the shot off, crowd's going to go. Mal. What a shot. What a shot. So yeah, we got a match in our end. And here I told you to say you were forty. You're forty in that moment. What a match! That is what the crowd is here to see. The crowd is going gaga. That double there, it's a double out of the game out of changer, face. Prince. Is yeah. the game changer? Africa, you are you watching? You can see the passion in Aiden after he put it like he really needed that, that, uh, that double to go down. It's a nail biter now. It's a nice emotion to see from. Uh, from Aiden there, and he's got a ball down. This is, un this is undoubtedly Aiden's biggest match of the season. No? What do you say? Yeah? Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Home ground, everything. It's the pressure's there. Yeah. Could we see, be, see some of the old magic yeah. that we're so used to from Aiden? Yeah.
That's a mic to do, yeah? They said Busano in Zambia said, take it to the wall. Ray, uh, Aiden Joseph played in Mighty Brent. So Caesar needs five, Aiden needs six. Middle flesh. This is a match made in heaven, ladies and gentlemen. Coming right live to you from Billet Cafe in the heart of South Africa in Rivonia. And, uh, we're thankful for the stream here what coming from Q Pixels, and I can tell you, little, little bit he just there. has missed it, huh? but I'm sure he needs to work on his creative juices here, Rickstar, what do you say? Yeah, he's got, he's, he's, he's landed very unlucky, you know, he just, he just supposed to kiss another white balls on the cushion, so I think he's, mm, he's definitely looking at that yellow by the red. Bit of right hand side to get, get back onto the same the yellow again. What a great shot! We're all saying, Come on, man, Aiden! And I can tell you, the crowd is going loud. Gaga, gaga, yeah. And for his next trick. Yeah, he's worried about a few things, yeah. If he goes centre pocket, loses control of the white. If he puts it down into the corner, he's got to land literally in one spot where he can see that other yellow. We've got Leroy, you know. Who still needs to come and make his debut into the Bekele Beke TV Challenge? You know, he played in the Seniors Challenge. Yeah. I think he's got it. I think he's got it, Prince. He just needs to get a perfect landing here. Yeah? yeah, going for a break and run here. Yeah? What a massive difference this 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 frame makes. Because he didn't if really he have a finish, one, but he's, he's made it out first of break and finishing of the session. playing pull like you can't believe it now guys i'm telling you guys uh, the roof is coming down here check right inside he's he still a bit unsure of where he really yeah, wants to take but he's still on it he can still cut it i think it's just the white ball he's got to worry about but the pot is there i'll tell you what if he pots this the crowd's gonna go mental yeah Yeah. No, it's perfect. Uh, he might just need to. This is the biggest shot of the entire session. Oh, what do you say? We need the shot. Come on, Aiden, man. Come on, man. He just has to avoid the Eno. I mean, that's all he needs to do. Just avoid the Eno. Make the black to be a tight. Tight case. Game on our Come on, Aiden. Come on, Aiden. He's got all the shots. He's a big player. Looks like he's playing left hand side. Big moments for big players, man! Yes. 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 Yeah, Africa, are you watching? The world, are you watching? Come on, Cafe is the venue. Cupid says, it's the place where we're streaming live from. Where are you watching those? from in the world? Tell us right now. Comment Wherever they're us. watching from, I can guarantee you they're not going to be in any time soon. You're not going to be in any time soon. You cannot miss the you remainder of this match. is now the gangster. Yeah. Yeah. Carabotano, all of a sudden, the game is done. It's a tie break. 
Aiden now looking the most focused he's looked in the entire match. You can yeah. see he's got a, a new. Now that was the second gear you were talking about earlier. Yes, yes, there's definitely. Some, there's some soul in in his eyes. Yes. I think we're going to see some very special pull right now. Yeah. Oh. 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 Sandile Matlala has just won a session here against um, Jeremiah Naidu by a scoreline of 15 10. So it looks like uh, Sandile has got his groove back, mate. What can you tell us after uh, coming through these uh, two big wins for the day? Sorry? What can you tell us after coming out of these two big wins in one day? What big wins now? You, j you beat Ibra earlier in the day, and now? Yeah. Oh, he's saying these are wins, you know, not big. No, I don't know if seen like American. Yes, Africa. <laughs> what must I say, bro? Oh, I feel... Yeah, I, I got very lucky. Seriously. Oh. That's Sandile saying he got lucky. Yeah, so Africa... Yeah. Let's see what Aiden's going to do, yeah? Leroy, very happy to see his boy back in the saddle again. <laughs> the story is Sandile is Sandile is not only back, but now he's back with a bang. It's since he got this hairstyle yeah. that he's winning, winning all these matches. Yeah. It's like Samson. With Sandile coming onto the stream, we've just had an extra good couple of people joining on the stream. So yeah. Aiden has got a free shot, he's got the skill, he's got a class, and he's got a free shot. What's he going to do? Uh, I think he's going to finish uh, Prince, which means, again, he's going to go in front for the first time in quite a while. Can he hold it, though? Thank you, Francis and Cupid says, you know, we're coming live from the page of Billet Cafe. On this glorious, glorious day of 23rd of October, the day that signified the end of the Holy Cup that was held at Monte Cassino. Is he eliminating balls that are a threat to him here? Yeah. yeah, he's put that ball safe. Just a bit of insurance. So far, you know, so, so far into the, the match. I think he just he wants to make 100% sure. The angle came a little bit off here, Rickstar, because uh, he's going to play a deep screw back now. Or check right, running sides. There we go. 
Unbelievable. Uh, that was a shot. Just unlucky to go in. Of yes. Yeah, you got to feel a little bit unlucky for Aiden there, but uh, I think Caesar needed needed that little bit of little bit of luck to get back into this match. Now Caesar needs to play the yellow onto the yellow, maybe get a double drop in in order to be able to have an opener for yeah. his red step. Didn't work out well. Yeah, I don't think that's exactly what he would what he would what he would have wanted, but. You know, watching him play the whole night, um, I wouldn't put it past me if he can still finish from here. The yeah. momentum is definitely on Aiden's side at the moment, but I mean, you can take nothing away from Caesar. He's, he's played fantastic up until this point. So I think he can pull off something, yeah? Caesar is missing the pots now at a crucial yeah. stage in the game. I think, he's, I think finally he started to feel a little bit of pressure. You can see he's looking at the sky at the moment. And all of a sudden, Aiden is... It's just got the momentum going. Oh! Very good landing by Aiden. That was a bit risky, but he's... He just needs to put and away with himself it. straight on that ball there. Is he going to pull that shot? Massive shot it is. And he's a bit straight here, yeah, Ricky. What a vital shot we've got here, Prince. And we've got Sandila Shoma. Come on, Aiden. Come on, Come this on is the shot. Oh. I think he played that a little bit too loud, Yeah, Ricky. a little bit too hard. He should have just followed through a little bit softer and followed through a bit further. What Caesar gonna do here? Caesar needs a snooker here. He needs a snooker here. He can just play this right here on the corner and just touch it here and leave it there, snooker with the black. Surely he can't be looking at a finish. I mean, yeah, with the red uh, stuffed up against the coach there. He definitely needs a snooker. Score is 16 all. Every frame counts. Every shot, Prince. Every shot. Every shot counts. He wants to snooker in behind the black. Can you believe that? Oh, he's gone for a shot. I have no idea. Yes. Yeah, he goes for the snooker. I think he's going to try and cover the... The pocket with the black goes. But he's given Aiden a, a go for nothing. I think he can, sw he's he can got swerve a around it. Shot. He can swerve around it in the black. The black is open in the, all the other pockets. So Aiden let's see where the white ball's going to land now. after it hits the yellow. And he went in off. Can you believe it? Little little bit, any other option. Too much swerve on there, obviously. Caesar will just develop this and then line up for that same red that is on the corner pocket there. Then. Perfect shot. Perfect shot. That's the kind of luck. Caesar Good luck. That's the kind of shot that Caesar needed from Aiden. Up. In order to get back in here. And he's played his last few balls perfect. To once again take the lead. 17 16 lead for Caesar. Two uncharacteristic mistakes by Aiden and Nero. 
You know, this is a uh, roll of the balls, but unlucky sometimes. But very, very lukewarm response by Aiden's fans. After this frame here, uh, I still really personally feel that the tide is turned. I think Aiden is, is the, the player with the momentum now. Just needs uh, just a touch of luck on his side, and I think he'll. He needs he'll a go big ahead. break here, Aiden. Uh, but it will be good Second to see ball if he is playing. Sees his previous form in the in the session come back. And a dry break. Sees can finish here. Another dry break from Aiden. Sees can finish here. It's a dry break. Are we going to see a reverse dish? So it's called. Yeah, I think. A uh, as we call it in South Africa. Too many dry breaks. Maybe Aiden needs to go for some few lessons in breaking from Sandile Shoba. Caesar going for it here. Massive, massive chance here. Prince, what was I saying? That, yeah. uh, that former, that former run that that um, Caesar was having, uh, the the momentum from Aiden has now kind of like stopped that flow that he had earlier. So. Shot by Aiden. Ricky looking at the frame. There's a yellow ball there sitting right next to the black there. How do you think Aiden's gonna land on that one? Uh, because that's the one on the side cushion there. There's a double. I mean, he can he can develop into a, a double shot down the line. He's got an option as well. If he wants to go the defensive role, he might have to play the yellow down and cover. Wonderful shot. Is he going to pot and release that yeah. yellow? The frames that Caesar has been taking, he's been stealing them from yeah. Aiden. So natural with his white boy. <laughs> Judging by how things are unfolding, Ricky, it looks like, I'm not saying there's a setting, it looks like there's an opportunity for another session, not even between the two. But maybe somebody else steps here for this. Tonight. The way we see things unfolding. Well. But who am I? I'm not a pool prophet. But. Good luck on that one. I'll, I'll be thinking of you and I. Tucking myself in. <laughs> I've got a full day's work tomorrow. Yeah. And what I'd love to stay and watch, I, I need to get stuff done tomorrow. So yeah. if it does happen, it'll be cool. But let's see. Caesar going. 18 system up that vital to Premier League you've been talking about. It's happening almost yeah. at the death here. Look, he doesn't give up, does he? I mean, even when Aiden comes back, goes ahead, Caesar comes back to go ahead again. So, in terms of, you know, if you're looking at a rugby match, uh, Caesar's got most possession. Like, uh, like England this past weekend. Yes, there you go. England had. Uh, most of, the, most of the position for most of the time, but somehow South Africa snuck in. Yeah. 
Ox Inter. That's the name England will What will a remember. difference he made to the Mets. Yes. Eighteen sixteen, the Scorpion Shandiga Caesar to break. Yeah, Will with the break, to advantage. Will aid and bring it back to seventeen eighteen. Okay, what do you think the percentages of him breaking in? I'm sure he must be on about ninety percent. He's been breaking well. Uh, he's only really like well. uh, two. What color ball should Aiden go for here, yeah, Ricky? Wonder was go. Wonder what's going through uh, Aiden's mind at this juncture. Well, uh, I think Aiden donated the last two frames. Those were Aiden's frames. And, uh, well, he's had to capitalize from Aiden's mistakes. As Francis telling us, Caesar. Very good shot. He sees the autos. Look at he can see the ball down. It's not what he wanted. He definitely wanted to land for the ball on the side of the pocket. To have an easier run. There he is. He's playing the Sandy the Madala way now. Is he going to land on the reds there? Let's see what's going to happen here. Sean Needle Needle frame here. I'm not sure if you can see this one full on. If it does, I don't think he can. Yes, he needed to play a shot where he comes round the Reds. Yeah. Yes. We got Small East Store also here to watch tonight. Small, your impressions of the game, Gazi. <laughs> if, if Say I, hello to Africa first. Hello to Africa. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what to say. Yeah. Just game, as worried as everyone else about yeah. Aiden being down. Yeah, this game is very difficult. Just a matter of moments here, you know. So this is a massive, massive uh, point in the match. Hope. What do you think Aiden needs to do to rally back? Um, Prince, given the way that Caesar's playing, Caesar's playing very well, but I think Aiden must just keep his cool, play his normal game, and I think he should pull through. I mean, knowing the ghost, I mean, four or five finishes is nothing for him. Yeah. 
Did you see that shot there? How important is it that Aiden comes back 17-18? I think this is the, this has the point in the session. If Aiden can get this, then we've got to get him on our hands. But if he fails, then I think Caesar will walk away. Good shot there by Aiden, and I think uh, the frame is now right for the taking. Come on, Aiden! Right for the taking, the same. Important stage in the game. Do you think he should go for a double? Yeah. It's now or never. Please. He needs to go to the double and push the red also. He must double this one here to the center pocket and come behind the other two there. I think the shot that you just mentioned is a better option, even if he misses. He can go behind the, the two, the two heads. But knowing Aiden, he's got a mind of his own. He's, he's the coach. Yeah. Let's see what the ghost will do, yeah? Out of this situation. He wants to go for it, the ghost, yeah? Where are you watching from? Ladies and gentlemen, where are you watching from, huh? This is Caesar versus Aiden, 4,000 pot. I think he stuffed up a bit with the positioning, but yeah. Let's see what he will do. Check right inside, check right inside. Very good shot by Aiden. So it's 17, 18 now to Aiden. It's a humdinger of a shot. We're coming back to you, right to you from Billet Cafe. And I can tell you, everyone is up in arms, you know, thinking, is it going to be Caesar? Is it going to be Aiden? Ricky, what do you make of this? I'd right? love to see the comments on the stream, Principal, I'm sure. I'm sure Caesar's camp is going crazy and ballistic, and all the Aiden fans from around the world. I'm sure, I'm sure also having their having their say. But what an interesting matchup, 18-17. Yes. And he's got a ball down. He's got to go red. He needs a red to control the frame. Is he brave enough to take? The center pocket red, Leroy. Yeah, he has to make sure of the red first before going to the double. No, man. This is where nerves of steel come into play. Come like this. Come, boy. Come like this. Africa has descended on Billiard Cafe and. Uh, we have now moved from 23rd of October to the 24th, all for one match. Massive, massive frame. Francis, your views on this? Well, I foresee a decider here. Yeah. What do you think? 21 20 again. I also think it's like, oh, yeah. yeah, the way it's going, yeah. So they're pretty Very hard to pull the winner, yeah? Aiden on, get some. Little to separate between the two players. Some oomph into his play. If he plays Tell the shot, you'll need really, to really make the red, right the yellow from behind out of the way, yeah. Aiden! Don't be surprised if you see a whole lot of magic in the last five frames from both players. I know sometimes I play terrible school, but I've got a knife for the game. 
have witnessed the Holy Cup where Francis has been on the stream multiple times. South Africans really going to be behind Aiden now. The biggest shot here will be for Aiden to get a match. killer landing. And be able to see the red that goes to the corner. He's sitting patiently waiting. Key aspect of the game. And hoping for that. Yeah, one, one good shot. Set. That's all it takes. He's playing a safe Vital here, shot this. As he got his eye in to see this ball down the pocket. Well, plus what shot by a fantastic Aiden. shot. At he's going gaga. He's going gaga. This, this for me is the defining frame of the session, Ricky. I was just saying, what a fantastic uh, shot that was. If he can somehow finish this frame off, Prince. If the place falls the house you, yeah. is gonna go down. Yeah. Just to play check. For me, he just needed to play check. Then he had to send the I think he was more Achilles. worried about where the white ball was going, not concentrating on the actual. But I mean, he, he had a big pocket there, so in his mind, it was a given. Just goes to show you can't let even the slightest concentration go. That's it. Caesar's got a bit Very of a nice here. array of colors from I Forever Chewing. He's going to try to cure the pocket there where the black ball is. So he might just play this yellow ball down the rail and leave it in the pocket. Let's get to see what Caesar does here. Caesar is in a bit of a vice. How is he going to respond? Is he going for a safety here? There's an opener. There's an opener. Not exactly what he would have wanted, but it's There's still a day. It's still in front of the black ball. But it gives Aiden an opportunity to put his red ball in front of that yellow now. He doesn't have much of an angle to do it. He's already looking at the center pocket. Let's see him going for the shot here. Aiden, he needs to get a three cushion to get onto. Can you believe it? Can you believe it, Ricky? It is a 6-6-6 shot. This is a match like one you've never witnessed, uh, Ricky. No, nah, unbelievable. Huh? Un un truly unbelievable. Huh. We've seen some amazing, amazing shots tonight. But, uh, let's get to see what happens here. I'm not sure what why Aiden is going for is. that shot, uh, Lee. Beautifully executed. Beautifully executed. So does his next ball. And the finish is now truly on. Is he going to go another long one and screw back? The way he's queuing now, he's going to hammer this in the pocket. Perfect. Say, come on, Aiden Aiden Joseph come on. is alive. Aiden Joseph is alive. The scorpion is being stung. Are we going to see a response, Ricky? Scott. It's a bit of a funny angle that he's got, Jan. The red is. Right on the inside of the pocket, so he's a little bit nervous, but it's just a small tip, not too hard. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Onto the black, and all of a sudden, this is the best of African pool. Correct. We are level once again. Eighteen, eighteen. Prince, I don't think that we could have asked for a better match tonight. It's Can turning out to be an absolutely you know fantastic match. Patience is a virtue. 
We waited for this, we have waited. and we get it up. Our money is back. This match we played a few days ago, and I think it's right. We have Marvel in the house. Let's come at the right time. Marvel, say hi to Africa. Africa. Thank goodness we have a microphone here. Marvel, say hi to Africa. Thank goodness we have a microphone here. Yeah, Africa's push, so he says, yeah? Yeah, we go. There we go. Who will Ivano take Jaren the 37th frame? He's going frame. to board your back. Oxy Twaba, Molimpi, is a big break. A big break. But dry. Absolutely dry. Aiden's back on the table. Point. In the 37th frame, what a time to break dry. Yeah. Hey, this is a match like never before. If you're not home, where are you watching from? If you're not at Billet Cafe, where are you watching from? I'm pretty sure the shepherds from Shetland. Have yeah. waken up to log on to check these final few frames. We are on Q Pixels, you know, the number one page in Africa for tonight. Where are you watching from? Give us a shout out. Who are we giving a shout out to? Well, if you want to say something. Aiden contemplating. Quentin is on fire today. Tonight. Which shot to go Quentin for first? Quentin is on fire. It's got that red on there. It's 19. Not the easiest 20, of shots. 21. Let's get to here from Sean, man. Red, but his first red is a difficult one. The night do. Can't really go for yellow because the yellows Tonight is Operation Fat Alice. Are in trouble there come with the red ball come on. in the pocket. So yeah, say, come on, lady, come on. Ricky, what do you say? I mean, the house is on fire. We if now I was a betting race, man, Prince. Race to three, it is, Ricky. Yeah, race to three, that's exactly Give it. us bets, you know. Hollywood if bets? If what I was a betting man, I would go to Hollywood bets and ask if I put my house on Aiden right now. Yeah. I am I am biased because I'm South African. And Caesar has played a fantastic match up until now. But the hunger is with Aiden right now. Yeah. He's going to play the yellow in the sectors under the white group. Go into that pack. And I'm sure he's hoping to get the red ball down. Okay. My mistake. Not yet. He doesn't seem to be happy with the shot he played right now. He's still now. got the angle on the yellow. I thought he was going to play it this first shot. Come boy. Come boy. Come right in. This is a massive, massive frame. Leroy is up in arms, you know. Telling the family, don't worry. I need a longer visa. But I'll be arriving, you know. Where are you watching from? Are you watching from Zambia? Are you watching from Oman? Are you watching from the Philippines? South Africa. In South Africa, where are you? Are you in Zimbabwe? Are you watching from Harare or from Bulawayo? Here is the shot. Can he get his balls out of trouble? Maybe even put that red ball in the corner. I did not see that ball coming, but he's landed on the wrong bit. side. Yes. Landed on the wrong side. Prince. From Cape Town, our next to Lidl. He's got the yellow ball into the corner Jacob pocket. He can't. Jacob Persez, watching from Cape Town, the red. Back in Sweden. He's not enough you of this yellow, Robert. Where is he going to go from here? And we've got Samo Pitrock to go. Watching from Has he got run. the right angle? On that straight yellow to come back, or will he be just be pushing forward Shawaira from Bula and Ayana. using that yellow on the rail for his last ball? And we've got Imoklo Jablas from Babani, Maxo from Tanzania. Is he gonna get a full show? Top spin here? Absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. He's just gonna roll Aiden it now. It's a pillow of a shot. He's going to run the final red, yellow. 
His touch has been excellent for the last couple of frames. So that's uh, a little bit of right hand side. Avoid the two balls. A little bit of right hand side. Use the angle to get onto his last yellow. He doesn't want to land too straight, Prince. Yeah. He wants to. He wants to have a slight angle there. So. I is he going to use the ring and watch him from planet to kiss into Jupiter? To you guys, an aliens, yes, we can see you for sure. Hmm. Oh, and he's played that very badly. I wonder why was he scared? Like I said, you know, play deep right inside. Deep right. He's now. He's Who now is going to be first a lot of trouble. on the hill? Who is going to be first on the hill? He had the perfect angle, Leroy. What do you say? He's, he's, a, he's supposed to play past this yellow, he's just red here, then he knows his in. Who you play? Gary. He's going to have to pull off some magic here. Uh, if he's not closing today, there's some more matches coming up. So, uh, and vivid don't go looking, away. Vivid looking, Aiden Tozebe playing behind the red there to move it to the. Wow. Almost got a. Almost got a. His friends are up and saying, Caesar! Caesar! Is Caesar gonna cook, pull it now? Caesar, no doubt. Seasoned player, he's just gonna play a nice, simple finish. He's pulled off so many tonight. I can't see this being too much of a challenge for him. The yellow is not 100% safe, but Caesar should finish from here. Caesar should be able to wrap this one up and take a 19 18 lead. He's been down, but he's certainly not out. Look, if he wins, he's, he's ahead again. So, what a nice little shot there. Effortless, effortless, Porty. Lee, are you seeing what the guy is doing to the white ball? He's making it done, so said Eugene Governor. Making the white ball dance. Francis. Wow. What are you saying, brother? Wow, good display from Caesar. You know, who is a game of chance? If you miss, uh, you open it and take advantage of the table. Clear the table. This match is not over yet. Yeah. This match is not over yet. Race to three. For Aiden and race to two for Caesar. For an 80,000 rand pot, Prince. 80,000 rand pot, 4,000 USD. But my not mate. just 80,000 rand, it's nations bragging rights. You can imagine tomorrow what's going to be happening on all the chat media. Whoever wins here is going to say that their nation is now the best. Yeah. Africa's number one money player against Africa's reigning champion and defending all africa champion dry break again what kind of balls is Caesar gonna go for you couldn't even ask for a dry break at a worse time what color balls is Caesar gonna go for rick Star? well he's already at the table going for reds What a lovely little touch he's got. Absolutely a marvel to watch. Let's get from the to hear from the lady supporter here. Yeah. Introduce yourself to Africa. I'm from Uganda. I'm supporting Caesar. Sheila. Sheila is my Has he got enough angle now? Yeah. So you say there we go. all the way this is the shot he needs to pull off. nothing else. He's saying Shandiga to win it and nothing else. Perfectly executed. from Uganda. 
One of Uganda's finest in the corner if you want right to. Here. At Villa Cafe. Lady in red, you know. Lady in red. Just watching pool with us. She be the red fairy that Caesar brought here tonight. You never know. Probably that is lucky charm. And we're seeing some, uh, some uh, Ugandan players rocking up here. They should tell us the winner of the decider against South Africa. Maria, she's also here. Say hi to her. Hello, how are you? How is everyone here? Waiting to me, Marion. That's Maria, the, wheel, the lady that put it in the winning shot. Uh, frame against South Africa for is Uganda to lift the Holy Cup. Right, right inside, here. looks like he is already. Up in arms, say, my countryman, Caesar, wow. has got to deliver. That, that is possibly the best shot I've seen tonight. See that was a phenomenal shot. Absolutely brilliant. I wasn't sure if he had enough angle to get that right hand side to where he got it. Caesar. He he was was absolutely brilliant. Now. He's now one frame away. And he is not against it. Sandiga Caesar. Caesar needs one. Aiden needs three. The crowd is absolutely going nuts. Chanting Caesar's name. Caesar, Caesar, Caesar. We cannot even hear ourselves think right now. These guys are chanting. And all the Aiden fans, quietest church us. Don't know. Just, just don't know what Aiden needs to do to get this monkey off his back, you know, in terms of Caesar coming back. At important stages in the game, you know. We need perfection from Aiden right now, but it's it's Caesar at the table. He's got to break. If he puts in, what this crowd is going to be rough. And it's in. And the crowd is going. Can Caesar pull off a finish to secure the win? Will he develop the raid now? After the shot. And where will White Ball land? I think that's the question we need to ask ourselves. Sandiga Caesar 20. Aiden Joseph 18. Who's gonna carry it all the way to the finish? He hasn't landed great. I'm wondering if he can actually come, make a play from here. 1920, uh, and he gets a break. We've got another decider loading. But this guy is so unpredictable. He's been pulling it off the whole night. So, who am Lisa, I? Who would you like to watch another decider? This guy seems to have a neck of going into deciders. We'd love to see a decider, obviously. But, uh, sure. Not easy for Aiden. He's up against it right now. He needs nerves of steel, you know. People are falling from the tables. I even saw a computer falling over now. Computers <laughs> dropping down. Yeah. That's raucous here at Billy Cafe yeah, tonight. Yeah, big stuff. The drinks are flowing, the emotions are crazy. Yes. And, and the, the ladies are filling this venue up like you just can't believe it, you know. I've never seen so many ladies here on a Monday night, Prince. Yeah. All on a Tuesday morning, big stuff. Caesar wanting to go tactical here to secure the frame. Aiden might need to be brave to play the yellow here past the red. Yeah. What is going through Aiden's mind now, Prince? 
I need to secure it, give myself a chance to come 2019, and I've got the break. Any little mistake. Yeah. And he's out of the game. Great shot there by Aiden. I think he's left a little bit of a gap there, Prince. There's a gap. He's left a bit of a gap, which Can means... Can the Scorpion come out and sting? Well, I, it, it all depends on this shot. Let's, let's see how he plays this red. He's given himself an angle on that red to get past Aiden's yellow. And if he does, he could possibly even kiss the other red out. They might just be a finisher. This should be the big shot of the session. This could be a 80,000 end winning shot. And I think he's got it, Prince. I think he might have it. And the Adam opened up, you know, like a, like a jump. One good shot. As he Muzi would say. Right there and come behind the yellow. He's just it. literally going to roll this ball in. A little bit of left hand side. Let the white ball come. There, the left hand side kicks in. This match looks like it's over. Season going for it. That is the end. Now in two minutes. So says the other scene. Here we go. What a shot. And finally some emotion. Finally some emotion. He knows he's got it in the bag. There we go. The crowd is going absolutely nuts. Absolutely mayhem here at Billy Cafe. Well done, Caesar. Well done, Uganda. This was one of the best matches. Seen in his value in a long, long time. Just when he thought he was out of it, he comes back with two killer finishes to secure the match. Yes. Last player, Caesar. What an absolute crazy match. You've got to give it to Caesar. He came to Billet Cafe in South Africa with the whole of Uganda behind him, as well as some of the other African nations. And he's pulled up the stunning victory here. The Caesar seems to be having Aiden's number. 2118. You said it. You said it. The guys are getting so emotional here, let me tell you, I've never seen anything like this. East Africa say, it's all about the respect. Aiden did not have the respect. What do you say? Well, I think Aiden does have respect. He knows Caesar, Caesar's beaten him before, so the respect is already there. But uh, he was up against it the entire night. Caesar was definitely the man tonight. Aiden had flashes of brilliance. He definitely came in in the end to try and get back into the match. Nothing else I can say. It's all about respect. You shouldn't talk. You have to do it. Never talk without doing it. You might be the master. Back on the keyboard. Bring it in the table. You have to bring it in the table. It's all about respect. He beat him three times consecutively. No one has ever did that to Aiden. He's the first player in Africa to do that.
A little bit of mayhem here, at least it's peaceful mayhem. Lots of emotions running, South Africans a little bit hurt. The Ugandans ecstatic with the victory from the man himself, Caesar. As they say in the cricket, come at the man, or should I say, come at the hour, come at the man. And certainly he came tonight in front of the South African crowd and proved himself for the third time in a row against the African champion Aidan Joseph, two-time African champion Aidan Joseph. A little bit of a debate going on now. Who's going to play the next match? Right, Prince preparing for the post-match interview now. Season no doubt the hero for the Knights. Thank you. 
Uh, so far, so cool. I've been in South Africa. It's a really uh, nice place. Uh, you guys are friendly. I feel like I'm at home actually. Yeah, so I, I have a lot of friends here, uh, Ugandans. And thank you all of you who supported me, Ugandans, and uh, plus the South Africans who supported me, including everyone who came to watch the game. Thanks a lot. Uh, about the game, uh, uh, I, I played well, uh, although my break were also helping me. And the other side, uh, I didn't breaks were not working that well. So that's uh, led me to have um, a more advantage of, of winning the game uh, than him, which I did it. And uh, I thank God for it. What do you think was the turning point in the match? Turning point, uh, when, uh, when, when the game was 18 18. When uh, Eden had a finish, but it was a hard one. But when he failed, that is where the game changed for me. Who do you dedicate this victory to? I dedicate the victory to all the supporters out there, including the one who came to support you. All my fans. Obviously, that will happen. Yeah, it will happen. With Ghana, Ghana, I was supposed to have a match today, but he didn't show up. Yes. He didn't show up. Uh, then I played with someone different. I was supposed to play him before playing it. Yes. But I'm having a game with. I may have a game with Sandy Lev, but he's not sure whether I'm going to have it or not. Because my flight is back to Ghana tomorrow. Yes. The final message is for everyone that has been watching on the stream throughout Africa. We have people watching from Omen. We also have people watching from Sweden and Europe. What is your final message to all the friends across the globe? Uh, my final message out there is that uh, this game is a, is, a, is a game of chance and uh, it's a very lovely sport. Uh, and I encourage guys out there, young talent out there, who play this game but play it maybe in, a, in somewhere they don't recognize them. Please come out and show your talent. Shine, uh, shine in front of your fans. And all will be well. And, and thanks, and, and thanks all everyone who came to support me here. All the Ugandans who made that, who make their time to come and support me. Thanks a lot. Okay. Now Sita is going to close it off by giving a message to them. Run. Thanks. My message back home there is that thanks a lot for all the supporters who are supporting me. Everyone who has been in my park since day one, till where I am right now. Thanks a lot. Without you guys, I wouldn't reach here. Thanks a lot, and please continue supporting me. God, may bless, God will bless you. Let's get to you from Victor I'm proud to say that maybe I probably initiated the four battles that Caesar has had with Aiden. I contacted Aiden at the start of there to invite him to come to have 
a tour of Uganda in which he played a money match with Caesar, ending in victory for Aden, narrow victory. It was extended the tour to Nairobi where he went, battled with different Kenyans, climaxing in another, another battle with Caesar. Caesar won that one. There was a third one at the end of the Mchana Open in Nairobi. Again, Caesar won. This fourth one is the icing on the cake. That's what they call it. I, I think, in my opinion, Caesar has finally conquered Aiden by the fact that he has won this match on Aiden's home turf and by a difference of three in the face of Aiden's supporters is too much. Uh, it will depend on the arrangement. Yeah. Thank you, Uganda, for coming and supporting. We love you. Uh, White Bull, we love you. Junior, PK, Sheila, come on. We love you. You guys have been great. We came from the casino. We came Thank you. Thank you.